Tell me the good news. Of course. She delivered the baby girl. The bouncing what? Um, the mother and the child are inside. So you can go inside and see them now. Right, I will do, I will do that. To me, my queen. Yes. Eh? Balo. No, 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 not again, not again. <laughs> why? Why, my ancestors? Why? Your, your Highness, calm down, please. Why should I calm down? Where? Where should I come down? Why are my ancestors doing this to me? Look at me. Eze Buruburu, king of the universe. Eze Ndeze. Why should I suffer like this? Why? Can you tell me why you were in the room screaming like a deranged animal? Your Highness, when have you become this heartless to abandon Olak and her baby at the hospital? What she gave birth to is worth nothing. Absolutely nothing to me. 
Does that warrant you um, abandoning her at the hospital? Yes. She was a failure. Just like you. God, your highness, God gives children. Yes. Different sexes. But in my own case, you all connived and decided not to vary the sexes of your babies. It's not any of our making. It's not our fault. Listen, I, I, I want to be left alone. Okay? I want to be left alone. What about Olaka? Woman, leave my presence now. Get out! Get, get, get out! Yes, who is that? Please tell me you're joking. I'm sorry. But how can you do this to me? What's my offense? Look, Olaka. The king married you for a purpose. Wish to give him a male child. It's not my fault. I'm not God. That's one thing he doesn't want to understand. He needs a male child so badly. And since you can't give him that, it means failure. And that is why he abandoned you here. Oh God. <laughs> but he said he loved me. God. I should have known I want nothing to him. God. <laughs> Where do I go from here? How do I pay these bills, these hospital bills? Don't worry. I'm here to settle all your bills so that you can go home. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, that don't. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let me see the doctor. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> I called you all together to thank you for failing me. When I married each one of you, I fulfilled all the marriage rights and obligations to your parents. Till date, not one of them can say that I owe them anything, not even one naira. But you all collectively have failed me. You have failed the main reason that I married you. But your highness, it's unfair for you to draw conclusion on us just like that. Some of us, like me, still have the chance of giving you what you want. Some of us, like who? You! How many times have I slept with you on my bed? Countless times, yet absolutely nothing. Not even a miscarriage. But your highness, she's right. You should at least tell us one more time before giving up. How am I sure that even if I try over 
and over and over again, you won't give me a female child, just like the others. Even an imbecile. Your Highness. Quiet! You have all failed, woefully. But I'm not going to give up. This country home and the mansions here can accommodate you all and your daughters. So I'm not chasing any of you away. Except you decide to go away. But from now on, just know that my bedroom is restricted. Your Highness, are you denying us access to your room? Absolutely. I'm glad you heard me well because I'm not going to repeat it. You are free. Live your lives the way you want here. But let none of you come to me with any sexual intention because I won't oblige. That would be it. What are you doing here? Eh? How many times have I warned you children not to come to this section of the compound? If I see you here again, if I see any of you here again, I'll, I'll, I'll break... No! Get out! Out! Nonsense! Let me not see your feet here again! So this is the real you? Upon all the love you promised me? Olako, I don't have the strength to talk now. Please. I brought your child at least for you to hold and see her. Since you refused to ask after her since we got back from the hospital. Why should I see her? Why? You are a father. I never denied that. Olako, I showered you with love, treated you like a queen, provided everything that you needed. What did you give me in return? I gave you a child. I needed a son. Do you think I married all those raucous women over there for fun? None of them could give me a son. And you are now like one of them. Your Highness, what about the love we shared? Truncated by your pregnancy. I have no need for you any longer. I can't believe you are saying this. I can't believe you are saying this to me. Look, 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 look. Who are you that I can't tell my feeling? Just who do you think you are? I gave you an opportunity and you bungled it. And now I have no more use for you. Now go over to your apartment and breastfeed your baby. Before I break your head. Now get out! Out! If I don't know why. King of Kings. Ndulu, I'm not in the mood now. That's in the mood. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Maybe I have to go back and come back later with the suggestion I have for you. Huh? You see, Your Highness, I've been thinking. Why has the gods not been favorable to you when it comes to having an heir to your throne? You're such a nice king with a large heart. 
you deserve the best. And this got me wondering, and I started digging. Your Highness, why don't you take up another wife? Maybe this time not from our tribe, maybe from another tribe. Ndulu, sit down. Sit down. Thank you, Your Highness. Another wife from another tribe? Yes, Your Highness. You see, maybe your luck of getting a male child is not in this Igbo land. You know, when you're looking for something, you have to be diverse with options. Why haven't I thought about that? Huh? <laughs> Why didn't I think of it? Ndudwe, you are, you are ingenious. You always come up with ingenious ideas. Thank you very much, Your Highness. If it, Your Highness, I'm sorry. Without your consent, I've already started digging, you know, making some inquiries. And I came up with this beautiful girl from the north. You have somebody already for me? Yes, Your Highness. Yeah. Uh, girl, uh, what do you want? Is she beautiful? Oh, Your Highness. This girl is the most concise definition of beauty. Mom. Hey. Really? Her name is Zainab. A beautiful name, I must say. <laughs> Zainab. Okay. Ndulue. You deserve a drink. Go for yourself. Don't tell me Olaf gave you another. My brother, I don't understand what is happening anymore. So upon all her big belly, she made I was even thinking she would give birth to male twins. Well, I was even surprised. I was shocked when I got the news about the female child. I don't know why the gods have refused to at least bless me with an heir to my throne. I don't know why. <sighs> it's baffling. Especially when you know that our parents gave birth to five male children. Mm. Eh? What do I know It's a pity. Three of them perished yes. in a motor accident, leaving the two of us. Don't bring back that memory again. Leave that sad memory alone for now. It is not easy for me either using them as instance in my speech. You see, our parents do not have uh, procreation issues. Look at me, I have two sons. Honestly, it's very painful when I remember your situation. Thank you, my brother, for your concern. Well, what else can I do except to keep on trying? Are you planning to get Another wife? Who is he that is making when he will have got more boy? I see more boy. He's the king. He's the king of kings. It must be for her to discover the fantasy in the king's promises to her. Mm. But is that why she's leaving? Mm. Do you 
think it's everybody that can stay here. Knowing that the king's cares for no one. <laughs> the poor lady can't stomach it, you know. So I think she's off to her parents' house. She's lucky she has parents that can accept her back. My parents are long dead. Well, I have a mother. Isn't it? It's not good to boast, you know. I remember when this lady came to this palace new. She speaks to no one. She stays in the king's room. The king showered her with lots of love. Ah, who could believe that she ended up with a daughter for the king? I believe that's why she's leaving. Knowing the way she prided herself before everybody. You saw the way she was treating the guards. And the king was listening to all her complaints. As if it will be for eternity. I pity her. <laughs> we will all be in this palace. And let the king continue taking new wives. Since he sees that as a solution to his problem. Instead of giving us, his wives, a second chance. See who will give him a male child. What if he gave us a chance and we end up giving him a set of daughters? And what if we give him sons? Mm. Nobody can tell, you know. And I think that's why he's afraid to give us a second try. Well, I wish him luck then. Let him keep trying. Cheers. Halima, you can sell it back. Welcome, Granite. Welcome, Megida. Thank you. Thank you. What is that your name again? Me? Me, Malam Shehu. Ordinary Malam. Don't worry, you will go to Mecca soon. Me? Allah Akbar. Senu? Can you go? Senu? Ndulue. Ezen, Tell them why we are here. Malam, my name is. Ndulue. Here is Ezendieze, the king of kings. You can as well call him the king of the universe because he reigns over all the kings of the universe. The king of kings is here in your house today to seek your consent as regards to your daughter in whom he has found pleasing. Yes. Zainab. Hmm? Zainab, my daughter? Zainab, yes. Zainab? Yes. That's the one. <laughs> I have seen her picture and I think she will make me a perfect wife. We want to extend our frontiers and the unity of this country, coming from the east and going to take a bride from the north. <laughs> oh. You are welcome, Your Highness, once again. Um, welcome, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I see you are also making renovations to this, your house. By the time I'm done with you and your family, you will not recognize this house again. <gasps> The king of the universe. You are welcome. I thank you very much. Um, Anyenzu, my daughter, I know the house. I go out. I don't come back from mosque. I come, I tell my daughter, Sariki, I come. Maybe so. It's all right. Uh, I'll be on my way now. Ndulwe. Buru buru. The king of kings. Bob Eva. As a nearer. But I want you to know that being my uh, prospective in law, your problems are over. <laughs> The king of the universe. The king of the universe. Tell your daughter that the king of the universe was here and that I'll change the lives of your family totally in no time. The king of the universe. I'm <laughs> <laughs>
Bangani, I, I don't understand. Who people did you say came to look for me? That man that I told you that came here to collect your photograph. The one Baba said should not come here again? Mm -mm, he came with the man today. That man is stinkingly rich. A king. Sorry, King Kuru. Exactly. My what? daughter, you are lucky. I was just telling her about the man that came here to ask for her hand in marriage. Ah, but I told you, Mama said that I cannot marry a man that is not a Muslim. Okay, 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 okay. What I saw today really changed my mind. He okay, cannot. But I. But me, me. Haven't we suffered enough? Look at me, cobbler. Cobbler, for sure, shine and never. Gum monkey. Make you say the Gary, Gary seller. Me two one ever. Two one two one, two one, she cover back. Mother. Okay, kill the hand, Kalikua. Baring Giamiki. God, Allah, look the hand. Besides, I don't think he will stop you from going to mosque. Exactly. But I need to know the man I am marrying now. Back in the hand, Kalikua. Not yet. Sorry, King. King. King, never. Sorry, King. I'm really sorry. Sorry, King. I can't stand Kudu. Nibo, not yet. Is it? King, you go. Go kill us. Go back here. So prepare for marriage. Marriage now. Dole. You the marry and dole, dole. You like it, don't like him. I the promote. I the prefer. They go tell my people. Make you prepare for marriage, right? You will take care of him. You will take care of him. Bring us into royalty. Tell her, well, well, tell her. So now, Your Highness, another wife? Yes, but this time around from another tribe. A lady from the north. Yes, I want to give every option a chance. You know, every tribe, every um, region in this country a chance. Who knows? Things might favor me this time around. But your highness, you have taken more than enough wives. This should be the seventh. I am ready to take 20 of them until I get what I want. The survival of this throne is of paramount importance to me, and I think it should also be your concern. Um, your highness, we have these beautiful girls here in the east. Why extending to the other uh, regions? I have six of them already. Ndibo. Why don't I try other tribes? You know, this might sound crazy or stupid to some of you, but until you're in their need of something, you wouldn't understand my predicament, how I feel. We understand you, Your Majesty. We are only concerned about the state at which you took up life. Well, like I said before, I won't stop until I get what I want. You see, I am the wealthiest king here. And that makes me the king of the universe. Ezendieze. Oganigwe. I deserve to have princes around my throne. I deserve to be happy and feel like a man. Why shouldn't I have a son of my own? Is any of you sitting here healthier than I am? Is any of you here more powerful than I am? I think the gods are happy because of my predicament. Take it easy, Your Highness. Take it easy. Man. You're welcome, sir. The king sent me to bring this news to you. This woman, man. Yami? Yami? Allah has been. May Allah be praised. Okay, now go there, now go there. See you? Okay, can we go? If you reach back, tell the Sariki, tell and say me, I greet and well well. No, he's not Sariki. He is Buruburu. 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 It's only this boy, I'm going to go to the No problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go to the boy. You did that? I'm going to go to the boy. I'm going to go to the boy. I'm going to go to the boy.
Zainab, welcome to my royal abode. I hope you like it. I have like it. It is very beautiful, Fat. I like it. I love it. It's very beautiful. See, it's beautiful, but it can never be as beautiful as you are. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, my stewards have prepared something special in anticipation of your arrival. So do I say um, lunch is ready in your honor? Nagori Babana, I am very grateful. After you. Ah, 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 ah. You are the owner of the house. You would have to go first. Well, maybe in the north, that's the way you do it. But here in Igbo land, we keep our women in front and protect them from behind in case of any unwarranted uh, attention and things like that. We would come. We would come. Oh, yes, we guard our women very jealously. So I should go first? Oh, yes. Please. So, Madala, there is no problem. Uh, yes, Madala. 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 So, you mean to say that? That man has gone to take another wife just like that. Oh, yeah, also this time around. No, 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 no. You're, you're joking. Don't worry. You should see her in a hijab. Maba, see. There's nothing we won't see in this parasol. Two weeks ago, Ulaku just barely left this paras. And now he has gone to take another wife just like that. Ha! Ah, oh, wow. My dear, if you ask me, I will say he has tried. He has slept with us countless times and yet no issue. Maybe you're just unfortunate. Unfortunate? My mother was never barren. Neither of my sisters. So I'm likely to get pregnant. Okay. I'm just going to sit down here and watch him until he's done changing women like clothes. <laughs> God forbid. I was even rushing to join you, so you teach me. Perhaps there is no problem. Tomorrow I will teach you. You can even follow me to the mosque. No, I would rather build a mosque here. I'm a king in Igbo land. But there is no problem with you visiting the mosque. It's all right. Whenever you feel I should come, just let me know. I'll do anything for my love. <laughs> there is something I would like to ask you. Why do you have so many wives? <laughs> oh, that. Well, several reasons, you know. It's the usual thing for kings in Africa to have as many women as possible. Two, Nigeria is a very large country with diverse culture, beautiful people. And so we need to extend the frontiers of our national unity by marrying across tribes, across religion. Three, you are a very beautiful woman. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that was why you left this place and came all the way to the north to marry me. Of course. So the north and the east will have better understanding. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I love you. You know, love, they say, has no tribe, no religion, no nothing at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is it like you don't love your other wives? I love them, but you are special and then i'll do anything i'll buy the whole world for you if you give me just one thing and what will that thing be <laughs> zainab come i'll tell you Ah, this must be a boy <laughs> playing football. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Why is it taking them long to bring the food? I don't don't mind, don't, don't, don't mind the, the idiots I left in this house as, as, as house helps. 
Eh? I don't know why it's taking them so long. Now, why did it take you so long to, 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 bring, to bring this thing? I'm sorry, Don't I'm that sorry. consume me for saying that. Eh? What? I. Now, get out! T take the cover and get out of here. It's okay, just, just leave her alone. Okay. No, no, no. I, I must punish all of them for that kind of lackadaisical attitude. It's okay. How can they treat my queen like that? <laughs> it's alright. Yes, I am. Have you called the king? I called him, but he said he's on the street. Okay, let me take you to the hospital. Ah, 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 ah. No, don't worry. I am fine. I'm waiting for my husband to come and take me to the hospital. Why? Because I don't trust you people in this palace. Ah. My dear. This is not a matter of trust. If I don't get you to the hospital now, we might lose this baby. That Allah, I said I don't want. What is it? Just leave me alone. Ah, ah. Hello? Babana? Hey, where are you, Bana? Come on time. Is your first wife? She is here, Fa. I, 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 I don't want anybody to take me. You know, I don't trust any of those people in this palace. Ah! You, you see, Da'Allah, come, come on time. I, I beg you, Da'Allah, come, come on time. <clears throat> All right. So, what did they say? He said that you should take me to the hospital, but I don't want. Thank you very much. I would rather wait for him to come before I go. Well done. Suit yourself. How is my wife? Congratulations, sir. Your wife delivered a baby boy. I mean a baby girl. You are joking, right? You're not serious, are you? So I am. A baby girl. Then why did you say a baby boy in the first instance? So I say slip of talk. Do you know I can kill you for... So How dare you make so such a silly mistake? You don't know what I mean. 
What have you been going through here, Sandy? He said such. Such something. She left without even telling you. I was moved by pity. Seeing the way she was crying, it was too much. The pain was much. I can't just, you know, close my ears. Keep on being moved by pity until someone accuses you of bewitching her unborn child into becoming a female instead of a male. I don't pity the king. Not one bit. Since he doesn't want to give us a second chance, let him keep testing all lies between the legs of the king. And now, he has abandoned her at the hospital. Who knows how she's faring? Hey! Are you planning on going to bear her out? Yeah. Huh? This woman, I tire for you. What planet did you come from, sir? That you worry about people who doesn't give a hoot about you. Well, I, I was very surprised when I came out of the labor room and I asked them where my husband is. They told me that he came to the hospital and he asked them that um, what did uh, they now give birth to? They told him that I gave birth to a girl. Yeah, Peter. He left me in that hospital. Kabaka, do you know that I was shocked when I came to the hospital to see you? I had to go and borrow money from uh, Mama Sule. You know her now. Gaskia, that is what I did. La ila. Haba, this is not nice. Do you know that I was actually waiting for him to come? He came, but then he heard that I gave birth to a girl and then he left me in that hospital. But what is wrong with a female child? I prayed for you to start with a female child. That was what I did. So, uh, have you told Baba? <sighs> I have not done that yet. But when I get to the house, I will talk with him. We will have to come and see the king and find out why he had to abandon our only child at the hospital. Well, I, I am so surprised. I am very, very surprised at the king. Now I know that that man does not love me one bit. King, don't want to kill me. He does not love me at all. All this while he was pretending to love me because he was expecting me to give him a male child. And then when he found out that I had given birth to a girl, phew, he left me like that. Thank you, Mena. What is wrong with Allah's blessings of procreation? It can come in different ways. It can be a female now, and in next time can be a male child. I know that he knows all of that. Trust me, he knows all of it. He's just pretending like he doesn't know. He knows all of that. I am not just happy. In fact, I am angry with you and Baba for allowing me to enter such, 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 such marriage. My daughter, don't speak like that. Eh? We meant well. Don't worry. Let I and your father come and speak to the king first. Then we know what happened next. Okay? It's you people's fault. If you had left me like that, I wouldn't be facing all this thing. He was showing me too much love. Ba kiao. Leave okay. me alone. Your Highness. What you did is not done anywhere. It's unfair. Yes. You treated my daughter like an animal. How can you abandon her at the hospital just because she gave her to a baby girl? My intention of marrying your daughter in the first instance was to give me a male child. She failed. Therefore, I no longer have any business with her. But she is your wife. Well, I don't deny that. She can still retain the title of a queen. There's no doubt about that. Ha. It's unfair, Wallahi. This is an insult to my face. Oh, really? What can you do? What can you do? Hmm? Please, please, let's calm down. Your Highness, I was disappointed when I met my daughter at the hospital. Helpless. You promised me you would take care of her. She has just given birth to a baby girl. 
I believe that the next one will be a baby boy. Isha Allah. Ah, you drew a hasty conclusion on her. That's because I no longer have the luxury of time. Does it mean you're going to throw her out of the palace? By no means, no. Not at all. This compound and the mansions within are large enough to accommodate anybody who wants to stay. She can remain here if she chooses to and take care of her baby, or if you want to take her and her baby, that's okay. I will speak to my people about this one. Like. Why don't you tell your imam? Get out of my house. Nini? See them off immediately. My son, if I enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Name. <laughs> Thank you, Rosh. Um, my son, please, I want you to do me a favor. What is it, Mama? You know, I will always do anything for you. Just ask. Oh, thank you. Uh, my charcoal has finished. I don't know if you can help me get another one. Uh, uh, Name. Why do you like stressing my baby? Don't stress it, don't just start now. Uh, get a kikama that will help you do that. Baby, it's okay. Uh, it's okay, Mama. I will do it for you. When do you need it? Oh, by weekend, oh. Thank you very much, okay? Uh, it's okay, Mama. Mm -hmm. Then by weekend, I'll get it for you, eh? Thank you very much. Mama, you are always stressing him, and I don't like it's it. Okay. I don't like it. My friend, shut up. Please don't mind my daughter, oh? Huh? Look at the way she's talking as if she gave me money to hire Keke and I refused. Mama, don't worry, I'll buy you Keke soon. Okay. Keke? I'll buy her a car. Oh, you buy me a car. Thank you. Hi. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me the cook now. Later, later, later. Igwe Buruburu, King of the Universe. Eze, Dieze. I danced. The people rejoiced. The elders prayed. Even the late Onowu prayed. They prayed for peace, joy, happiness, wealth, princes and princesses. If anybody had told me 20 years ago on that day that I will not have an heir, Today, I will think that that person is a fool. But what has happened? 20 years down the line, not a male child to look upon to take over the throne of my ancestors. Ndulue, you were there when all these things happened. Yes, Your Highness. The gods gave their consent, and there was a heavy rain that night to seal everything. The people rejoiced, and the town fell at peace. Twenty years later, Ndulue, how many wives? Seven, Your Highness. Seven wives. Have I not tried? Your Highness, but giving up is not an option. I wish I can give up. Honestly, I wish I would give up, and even if it's an imbecile that I put on the throne there. Oh, oh no, Your Highness. You deserve the best. See, 
Your Highness, the fact that the Northern Girl failed does not mean every other girl from every other tribe will fail too. Do you have another person in mind? Uh, there are so many of them, Your Highness, you know. But I need to look well and check the right person. Well, whoever you have in mind, let her know upfront what she's coming here to do. If she's not going to give me a male child, she had better not come in the first instance. But how would they know? Find somebody who has serious conviction that she will give me a male child. Somebody that male children run in their families. Somebody who is sure within her mind that she's going to succeed. Otherwise, nothing. Okay, Your Highness, I've heard you. Uh, I will try my best. I, I have a feeling. I mean, I'm very optimistic this time around will not fail. You have to suffer a baby sick. Why would the king do that to me? My religious abandoned me at the hospital and make me feel like I am worth nothing to him. I understand your pain. I'm the king's first wife. We all pass through the same thing. He lies. Why? Because he wants a son. But I can give him a son on a second try. <laughs> Nobody gets second chance in this palace. Nobody. Once you conceive and give birth to a female child, he forgets about you. But that is not fair now. That is not fair at all. This is a man that promised me the... Well, he told me that he loved me, promised me heaven and earth. And now see what he is doing to me, because I did not give him a boy. My dear, you have to pull yourself together and face life. Be happy. Be happy? How can I pretend to be happy when I am not? Or pretend to be happily married when I know I am not? Would you rather go back to your parents' house? Malai, I wish I can. I really, really wish I can. But I am from a very poor family. I am my father's only child, their only hope. Right now, it looks like they have just lost it. It's okay. I believe your God will show me a way for you to be happy. <sighs> Thank you very much. You're, welcome. You're like a sister to me. When lie, if I knew, I would have trusted you earlier. I'm very sorry for the harsh words I've been using to talk to you before now. It's okay. I was just scared of the people around. I was just hoping. I thought the king really, really loved me. I'm yes. very sorry. Put yourself together. I came in respect of our last discussion. I thought I have told you that my daughter is engaged to a man that wants to marry her. I remember telling you to think wisely before you take a decision. I have thought about it. Oh, really? You don't want your daughter to marry a king, right? Did you say a king? Oh, yes. Are you telling me that the man that is coming for my daughter is a king? Not just a king, a very wealthy king, a rich king, the king of the universe, Igwe Buruburu. Ojikwego, Ojikwego. Please, I will surely speak to her when she comes back. Oh, please, you can count on me. Beautiful. I can see you like money. This is your advance. When you get the job done, you get more. All this for me? Mama, I'm back.
I have been looking for you. Hmm? You parked at my sport. <laughs> what are you talking about? I said, remove this car. I want to park. You park at my spot. In your spot? Yes. Is that why you're here? Mm -hmm. I can see you have lost your sense of respect. Mm -hmm. I have every goddamn right to park my car wherever I damn fit as the king's wife. Hmm? I'm also the king's wife in this palace. And you cannot challenge me in this palace. I want you to remove this car before I display it. You are the king's wife indeed. Mm -hmm. What makes you a wife in this palace? Huh? Have you had time to ask yourself that question? You are nothing but an incomplete wife. What did you just call me? Incomplete? In my husband's palace? You better watch yourself. Please. Watch your mouth. Or you I will display this car. Or you and you what? cannot do anything in this car. Hey! Eh? You said I will beat you here today. You hmm? who, who are you to challenge you me? me. Baby, why are you crying? You know, I don't like seeing you crying. It's breaking my heart. <laughs> David. What is the problem? I love you so much. I love you. <laughs> and you know I love you too. Now tell me, what is the problem? David, sure you know you promised to marry me. <laughs> yes, I did. And that is what I've been working towards. It's just that things has not been moving the way I've been planning it. Oh. But believe me, God is in control. Is there no way you can raise money from anywhere and come and marry me? David, please no. Just raise money from anywhere. Maybe you can just buy money from any of your friends and just come pay for my price price, please. Borrow money? Yes. From where? I don't know, from anybody. I don't want to lose you, please. <laughs> Nenda, look into my eyes. Look at me. What is the problem? Talk to me. Listen, I just don't want to lose you. I want you to come and marry me, Sharp Sharp. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> your Highness, I can explain what happened between us. So, eh? she, she was the one that started everything. Your Highness, she had lost her sense of respect. Please shut up, both of you. Shut up. That I agreed to harbor you both here. After you failed me, it doesn't give you the liberty to disrupt the peace, serenity in this compound. But your highness... Quiet. Keep quiet before I strangle you. Both of you are of no use to me. Yet I allow you to stay here. So it's either you stay here gently and peacefully, or you leave my house. Is that clear? Yes, your highness. Good. Now, for your disobedience and disrespect to the sanctity of this abode, you will go into your rooms and get me your car keys because I'm going to seize them for one month. But my lord, you can't... In, in my book, if I hear your breath, I'll throw you out right now. Do you understand me? For the fact that I'm still magnanimous enough to allow both of you to still stay here, I think I deserve a thank you from both of you. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. Good. Now go get me your car keys. No females, huh? No, 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 no,
Mota ngoke. Eh eh. No do kwano no do mba. O gawna. Cho 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 cho. Ko mo no no. Hmm. Okay no why rinna tabu ko mo na afu. Managa na ano. Onye jo. Amuludo. Beka kene. Do you talk to your uncle? Yes, I have. And they said you should come in two weeks so that you discuss with them. Oh, really? That's good. Please talk to them. Eh? The king of kings will be glad if you get them convinced and he will do everything possible to take care of you. Hmm? I must surely do that. You don't have a problem. Okay. Uh, what about Nenda? Oh! She was here, but left immediately she saw you coming. She's still shy. She's shy. <laughs> it's only natural. <laughs> I forgot. Eh? No problem. Uh, please take care of her very well for me. Eh? Use this to take care of both yourself and Nenda. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I must surely do that. But you gave me money two days ago. This is a little of what you're going to benefit if things work out fine. I mean, that's if your daughter gives the king what he wants. Oh, tell him that my daughter will give him all that he desires. King of kings are ready for you. So, by the way, no problem. I will have to go now, eh? Okay, I'll see you. Mom, I don't know what is wrong with Inenda. She's been acting cold and strange of late. Please. Let me talk to her. If there's anyone who have offended her, I'm sorry. Have you tried asking her? I have, Mama. But she has refused talking to me. Nenda, why not tell him? What? Is there anything the problem? <laughs> well, you have not offended her. Just that. She wants to... Name! Allow me to talk, since you don't want to talk. She's getting married. And the man that wants to marry her will be here in two weeks' time to see her uncles. Married? David. You're joking, right? David, David, listen. I'm so sorry, okay? See, I, I didn't know how to tell you. Enough! David, are you going? David, please don't leave. David, I love you so much. Leah! Come back here! David, this is not fair. This is not fair. It's not fair. I love David so much. This is not fair. You know it. I cannot allow David to be a family <laughs> block to your life. <laughs> I heard what happened with you and Izini. Look at that woman. She's trying to, uh, to, to challenge me in my husband's house. Eh? But I'm going to teach her a lesson. I will teach her a lesson. Sure. But wait, what really happened? I told her to remove her car from my spot. And she was challenging me in my own husband's house. Eh? She even called me a barren witch. Eh? Izini, is she not God that gives children? And do you know the annoying thing? Hmm? The king could not even listen to my own side of the story. Hmm? He even collected our car keys from Mosul. What? Hey, who is this in Navy Corner? There's nothing somebody who knows in this house. She that gave birth to a wanted child. What is the difference? Good morning. Hey, will you stop there? Did you just say? 
I said good morning. Don't you ever greet me again. Do you understand? Mommy! Who are you calling? <laughs> Mommy! Who are you calling? Come on, will you shut up your mouth? <laughs> Angel, <laughs> what did they do to you? She slapped me because I greeted her. Who did? She. I will break that stupid figures of yours if you don't keep them down. Are you mad? If you lay your finger on my daughter again, I will make sure you don't leave to see the daylight. You can't do anything. What offense has she committed in greeting you? Let her stop greeting me. Then you should have told her verbally. Then lay your filthy, filthy hands on her. I will slap her again if you ever greet me. I'm your phobia. Burning things. I'm better than Burning things. Lay your hands on her again. I am far, far better than you are. You should just call her. You get better than that child. You keep needing the male child. Who is this one? Very thing! This one. New phobia! Oh! Oh, David. Uh, Mama. Mama, tell me this is a joke. Uh -uh. Nobody is joking with you here, David. I appreciate the love you have for my daughter. But you are not ready to marry her now. Um, I did promise to marry her, but you see, I've been hustling to meet up. Mr. Hustler, you don't expect me to keep my daughter single, waiting for God knows where. The man coming for her is rich. Rich? Yes. Mama, is that why you're pushing me away? I didn't push you away. You are the one pushing yourself, because you're not ready to marry yet. My daughter is the only asset I have, and she has to marry a rich man. A man who can take care of her and also take care of me. Mama, this is not fair. This is not fair. After everything I've done for this family. Huh? My friend, David, what have you done for this family? What is so special that you have done for this family? If not the bread and the akara that you normally buy from us. Helping me buy shako. What else have you done for this family? Eh? My friend, if you think that you have done anything for this family, that you have spent any cobble, I don't even think that you have spent up to 3,500. But if you think that you have spent anything, calculate it, I'll pay you back. I will pay you back. Mama, so this is all about money. Mama, why allow money to come in between us? I loved your daughter, and I still love her. David. I don't have strength to talk. I have already told you that my daughter is getting married. And you're highly invited though. <laughs> hey. Soon, she'll become a queen. Queen! Mama, Mama me, yeah. David, I must make money. My friend, get out. Don't worry. She'll make money.
So, I wish you good luck. Ka enjoy it while it lasts. Your Highness, I heard you want to take another wife. Is it true? You heard correctly. I think it's time I step in on this matter as your elder brother. Because a wise man cannot be in the house and watch a she go to deliver in Tita. No, cannot there no no no. A woman will not be. You have to stop taking wives. All right. Okay. And then do what? The chief priest asked you to be. Patience. I said I don't want to talk about the chief priest or whatever he said. If you don't have a practical solution to this problem, bring it on and don't talk about the, the, the chief priest here. I am the king. Ezendeze. Organigwe. Chief priest. Well, I take it that your silence means no. You have no solution to the problem. Now you are beginning to see why I have to find a solution my way. <laughs> are you not bothered about the number of wives in this palace? Hmm? This is the eighth one. In case at all. My mansions can take care of more than 50 of them. So I won't stop until I get what I want. Honestly, I'm worried about you, my brother. You don't have to be worried about me. Find a solution. I need an heir to this throne. And I will give anything. I can do anything. I'm ready to sacrifice anything to get one. Just one. My lord, your food is served. I'm not hungry. Why? I don't want to eat your food. I'll eat from my new wife's pot. My lord. You can be eating my while waiting for her to finish. Why in your mafe? Nya mafe. Nama mail your woku. King of Kings. Budu Budu. Ezendeze. Johannes, I have brought you these things. Kabakwa. I got banana. What are these for? 
A friend told me that if a man eats banana and egg and granite all together and sleeps with the wife, he would beget a male son. <laughs> <laughs> you know this is superstition and I'm not a fan of superstition. No, your highness. It has been confirmed by so many people. Let us give it a try. Wait. Banana. Granite. Mm -hmm. And uh, this egg, is it boiled egg or raw egg? Cooked egg. So you eat cooked egg, banana, and granite together. <laughs> no, no, let me not eat the one that will punch me for one week. <laughs> well, your highness, you know I will not give you anything that is contaminated. This is safe. Hmm? Let us give it a try. Okay. Well, there's no harm in trial. Yes, and they also say it's only a trial that convince you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, um, sorry, what is your name? Um, my name? My name is Nenda, but my friends call me Ne. Oh, 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 oh the Ikwere one? Mm -hmm. uh, half that is really nice, ma. My name is Zainab, and this is my daughter. Zainab, what a lovely daughter you have here. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, Sorry, I want to tell you something. Okay, go ahead, I'm listening. You know, I see you as a very calm and nice lady. That is why I am telling you this thing, Fa. It is just an advice. Kingang, don't let yourself get too emotionally attached with the king. I don't understand. What are you trying to say? Because I don't want him to break your heart after using you. I don't want him to dump you. It's just an advice, Fa. Did I just sense contempt in your statement? Ah, 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 please, now you are trying to misunderstand me. What I am just saying is that you should be careful. Just don't allow your heart to get too attached with the king. So I am just trying to help you. It's the king. It's the king. Stop telling me to calm down. Who is he to insult me? Okay, Baring Gamiki, what did He might be a king in his town. Amani, Nimalami, I deserve respect more than he will lie. Megida, we have lost all. We have lost everything. I hope he's dashed. If I knew, I wouldn't have allowed that heartless man to marry my daughter. Eh? Look at it. I don't even know how my daughter and her child is faring over there. Yes, it is obvious she's suffering. And you are asking me not to mobilize my brothers to give him a fight. Damunga matuntuni, Allah. Megida, my fear is that this man is very rich and powerful. I don't want us to get ourselves into more trouble, more than what we have already at hand. Mm. That is why he had the nerves to ask me out of his house as if he don't know anything about us. Abi? 
my holy Kida, wallahi, you are right. We should have allowed a Muslim, Muslim Omar to marry our daughter instead of giving her out to that, that is ka, sha, sha, sha. This is wallahi. But Megida, don't you think we should use another means of uh, settling this issue rather than... What you... else can I do? Look, I don't have the money to go to the police at all. I don't have. Ha. Wallahi, this is a big slap on our face. Dubafa, nyamali nefa, iboma nefa. Wallahi, nipa zembaliba. Okay, wallahi talai, nipa zembaliba. <laughs> How are you doing, son? I know you are doing fine. Now, this is your daddy talking to you. Igwe Akabogo. The first, Eze Buruburu, king of the universe, Eze Ndeze. Listen, son, come. I can't wait for you to come out in a Good few morning, days. Good darling. Ah, can you allow me to sleep? I mean, I want to sleep. Look, look, look. I, I'm talking to my son here. Are, are you jealous? Son, your mommy is jealous. But don't worry, your father is rich. I'll get you anything you want. A football? I'll build you a big football field. Only you will be playing in there. <laughs> playing? Of course, you will enter the best airline. Oh my I... God. Honey, stop, stop, stop. I want to sleep, please. I need to sleep. All right, uh, son, mommy says she wants to sleep. So know that I love you, I'll talk to you tomorrow, and I can't wait for you to come out in a few days' time. Better, better. You've been talking to him all day. Can't you at least allow the mother to sleep? Yes? Who is that? Yes. How can I help you? That's why you called me. To do what? To eh? do... Now get out. Get out! 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 Honey, take it easy. Take it easy. That was too harsh of you. My dear, I'm sorry. You know, they know how to upset me. I know, I know, but you just have to learn how to take it easy with them, okay? No, it's all right. I don't want you to be upset. Hmm? Okay. Now, relax. Oh. Let's, let's, let's sleep. That reminds me. Hmm. We have to pray before we sleep. I'm going to pray. Okay, I'll let's pray. pray. Mm. <laughs> Sit by me. Ndulwe. Eh, uh, buru <laughs> The king of kings. <laughs> yes. Buru buru. Uh, <laughs> tell me. She delivered without complication. Yes, Your Highness. Uh, she delivered like the Hebrew women. <laughs> and? Um, she... She... Uh, she what? What did she give birth to? Your Highness, she gave birth to a set of twins. Twins! Yes, Your <laughs> Zendeze Igwe Akabogo, King of the Universe, 
bless our gods. Now I have two sons that they go. <laughs> hey! No, Your Highness. I, 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 she didn't give birth to male twins. I, I, she gave birth to the opposite gender. What? What? No. No. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Get out. Get out! No. No! Gods of our land! What have I done to deserve this? Why have you chosen to disgrace me? Why? Why? Ha! Afusi Emanya. God, stop her from getting here! Yes, Your Highness. So it's the pain. It's the pain. When you are even here anywhere. You are such a wicked man. Why did you abandon me and your husband so why? Is that your new way of greeting? You will look loving and caring, but your heart is evil. We had an agreement. I tried. I mean, I tried my possible best. It wasn't my making, you know. I even gave you twins instead of one like others. You gave me one like you want. I am so disappointed in you, so, so disappointed. But you know what? I don't blame you. I blame myself and my mother. Well, listen, woman, why don't you go back in there and take care of your daughters? Instead of standing there and sniveling at me. They are now my daughters. I'm not yours, right? They are now my daughters. Woman, I got nothing to do with you. You failed. You failed. I left my mom for you. You deceived me. You lied to me. I left my mom for a beast like you. Get <laughs> dumped me because I didn't give him a son. He dumped me. But this is just your first pregnancy. Why is he in a haste? Does he know that? Does he? You can't imagine that beast abandoned my babies and I in the hospital. There was nobody to bear me out. I had to call David. Hi. It was David that bailed me out. It, if not for him, I still would have been in the hospital. That is so wicked of him. He's so wicked. No, the truth is that that man does not love me. He doesn't. He only married me because he wanted his son from me. But when I failed, he chased me away. He wants my babies and I live in his comfort in anger. 
All he did was to encourage me to go. Nev, it was when I got to his house that I knew that I am the eighth woman he is marrying. Eight? Eight? He abandoned all of them because none could give him a son. That man is a beast. He is wicked. He is very wicked. He's a wicked man. You know, I cannot answer that question. How Hey, Jimena, you are more than I have been worried. Senuko, we are sorry for pushing you into that marriage. Kioskia, it's too late to start apologizing. My daughter, you don't look. Uh, why can't you leave that house than to be there? Unhappy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Baba. I cannot leave my husband's house, Fa. What do you want people to say that I married, I gave birth to a man for, for, for gave birth to a child for, for a man, and then I am back to my father's house with the baby? Perhaps I will not do that kind of a thing. I would rather stay in my husband's house and tolerate everything that I am going through. Kai, kai, kai. One and one, I mean, Sariki, you know, be better face it. Wallahi, that is canny. Come back house. We go manage anything we get. Baba, don't worry about me. I will be fine. I will manage myself. I will take care of my baby. Kai, 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 I will stay in my husband's house. The husband that you people made me to marry, I will stay there. Because kai, I won't come back here because I still have shame in my body. What will people say? Please. Kai, kai, kai. Kai, kai, kai. Kai, kai, kai. There is no problem. I don't know whether Mama will come before I leave, but if she comes, tell her not to worry about me. Far. I will be very, very fine. I will take care of myself. Allah will see me through this marriage. Your mother has been weeping seriously at home. Eh? Tell no weep for me. Since that very time, did she not get herself? I will be fine. I will take care of my baby. I will be fine. But just here, I will not leave that my marriage. I won't leave my husband's house. Okay. And come back to my father's house. Okay. Here. Wanda Inyamari, Yeriki, Yerike Kida Magani. Okay, I cannot. Leave the house, make me go my Leave the house. When I was telling you people to, 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 to leave me alone, let me see the man I'm going to marry. Rache, oh, you have God, to marry the man, God. whether it's Gandhi. Don't allow people to leave me alone. Don't bother me. Don't mess with 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 Only one packet of the rock. David. Good afternoon. H afternoon. Nenda, how are you and your babies? David, we're fine. Okay. Uh, Madam. Uh, um, David, David. Um, I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for, for rescuing me at the hospital. I don't know what I would have done without you. I'm so grateful. God bless you. Madam, thank you. Do you mind hearing my story now? Don't worry, next time, eh? I'm Do rushing up to somewhere. Sure. Don't worry. Okay, don't worry. no problem. David, I, I came to ask for forgiveness. I'm so sorry, please forgive me. I know I've hurt you in unimaginable way, yes. I allowed my mother no... deceived me, David. Please forgive me. See, 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 there is no time for all this. Just go. I can't go, David. I can't go. I lost my happiness since we parted ways. And there can't be life without happiness. <laughs> David, I'm sorry for losing faith in you. I'm so sorry. Please. You surprised me, you and your mother. 
she denounced me and practically humiliated me. I cried all night asking God why. It was so unfair. I know, and I know I'm not worthy of standing in your presence asking for forgiveness. But that's the only option I have right now. I am tired of living a life of regrets, a life of pain and sorrow. That's how I have to come to the only man I know I truly love. David, <laughs> I wish I could take back all I've done to you. I just wish I could turn back the hands of time. I may not have silver or gold. To give to you, but... Oh, David. You have a good heart. Your good heart is priceless. And that is all that matters to me. I promise not to ever leave you again. I promise. What? Um, Amanda, what is the matter? It's just that... Just that I just remembered um, I'm no longer the way you used to know me. I. I. I, I, and I have two kids. I don't even know what to do with them. Mouthpiece of Nishi. Why? Why have the gods decided to ridicule me? What have I done? What is my offense? Biko, can you even me? Your Majesty, patience. Patience, Your Majesty. Stop telling me about being patient. I mean, how long will I be patient? I have done all the sacrifices I was supposed to do in order to appease the gods for the anger they said I caused them. I don't know nothing about that. Your Majesty, are you trying to say that the sacrifices we offered to the gods were not properly done? No, no, I, I, I never say that. All I'm saying is that I have done all the mandatory sacrifices to the gods. So why are they taking so long to bless me with a son? Why? Well, Your Majesty, I consulted them on your behalf yesterday. But their ways are still the same. So I suggest you should be patient. To hell with the gods! Your to Majesty. hell with them! Your Majesty, if I may remind you, you blaspheme. So, that I should be patient for how long? My father, the late king, had four sons. Four. My other brother had two sons. Why should my own be different? I have married countless women and none of them has been able to give me a son. Now you tell me, mouthpiece of Wenshi, are the gods being fair to me? Are they? Your Majesty, calm down. Calm down, Your Majesty. Eh? But when... No! I am sick and tired of hearing from the gods. Totally sick! Your Majesty, come back. Where are you going? I'm here for you. The God sent me to you. Papa. Uh, no, Papa, I really fell for your brother, the king. My brother, the king, why? He's pretty comment. Hmm. Because forget about my brother, he's just being stubborn. Who in this village that doesn't know how I've been begging and asking my brother listen to the sayings of the gods? What did the gods say about his situation? Patience. The god says he should be patient. That very soon they will bless him with a male child. That is the heir to the throne. But instead of my brother Kabok to be patient, he goes about taking wives, forgetting that a patient dog eats the fattest bone. 
kwana nketa nwere ntiti na ato okpo gbara apura papa i even heard that the last one in mary has left the palace why wouldn't she go why wouldn't she go who would want to stay with a man that abandoned his wife at the hospital simply because he did not give him a male child eh akabog my brother is the one giving himself headache but i tell you what a restless grasshopper ends up in the gizzard of a fowl why if i wish you stop all this because he's getting weak by the day and even the gods, if you help him, show him clemency and give him a head to his throne, that would be better. <laughs> Lieutenant, please forget about my brother, Akabog. Go and get my food. All right, I'll do as you say. I'm sorry, Your Highness, but you have a letter. Well, open it and read it out for me. Well, what did the letter say? Why are you looking like you swallowed a bee? What did it say? Talk to me, Indulwe. Your, Your Highness, I, I, I rather you, you, you read it yourself. King of the universe, father of none. Who brought this? I don't know, Your Highness. I I saw it by the gate as I was coming in. Hi. The writer didn't put his or her name. This must be one of those who mock me. My enemies are at work here. Hi. Ezendiaze. Ifusiganya. Your Highness, I am sorry. Say that sorry again and I'll break your head. This is what I get. Sorry from everybody, including my enemies. They're all sorry. Mocking me. Just because I don't have a son yet. Your Highness, please calm down. It is just for a while. You will soon smile again. Eh? I know how you feel. In fact, I feel the same way each time our plans don't work as we anticipate. But I know the gods are watching us. They will soon make you smile. Please, Your Highness. Ndulue, leave now. I need to cool my head. Go. Okay, Your Highness. I decided to come here to share this bottle of wine with my friend and my sister around here. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> okay. For love among the two of us. Um. Hmm, 
This day is very nice. Yeah. Okay, I've been wondering about something. Where is that Iquiri wife? I've not been seeing her around in this palace. Where is she? Now on. She has gone as usual now. Gone? <laughs> With the twins? Of course. It's not easy to stay around here. I even pity myself at sometimes. As for me, I wouldn't want to go to my parents and start suffering with them. Eh? I would like to stay here and look for a solution to my problem. Or don't you want to find a solution to your to your barrenness? Barry? I'm not Barry. Nothing is wrong with my womb. Hey, then why haven't you conceived all this way? My friend, maybe it's luck. I know the king stopped sleeping with us for a very long time. You better find a solution to your problem. Because me, I am seeking for a solution to my problem and very soon I will get a solution. The problem is that I don't even know where to go. My friend, open your eyes. Open your eyes, oh. Because the king can decide to throw us out of this palace. Since we cannot produce even a song for him. I'm telling you. We better watch it. It is well, oh my friend. It is well. Wise one, this is my king, the one I told you about. You are welcome. Thank you. He told me about you, that you can help in my situation. Do you believe I can help you from this situation? Yes. Yes. Good. Your faith has redeemed you. That which you seek, you shall find. Thank you, wise one. I have been searching for a son for 20 years. Save it! I am already aware of this situation. Let's see what you have here. Where is one? Send them to their graves. This is not a physical fight. It is spiritual. I can help you on that regard. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, wise one. You have to break yourself from this spell. You and you alone can do this. Well, tell me what it is. Let me get on with it. You have to sleep with a mad woman. Hey! Please, my son. I want you to forgive me. I know I have hurt you. I allowed greed to engulf my conscience. Please, I'm sorry. It's okay, Mama. Mm -hmm. It's okay. For the sake of my daughter, I am sorry. It's all right, Mama. I've heard you. Huh? And I've forgiven you and Nenda. Mm -hmm. You see, every mother wants the best for the child. You are a human with feelings. So what you did was the best thing for her. You know, the truth is, 
Money cannot equate happiness. Never. David. I just want to say thank you. Thanks for your understanding. Thanks for your forgiveness. Thank you so much. Thank you. What about the children? They are inside. I just I just finished feeding them so they are sleeping. Uh, Mama, I've been coming in two weeks to formalize my marriage with Nenda. Huh? Hey, what? hey, David, huh? you mean you are still interested in marrying my daughter? David. Yes, Mama. David, thank you so much. David, I love you. I love you so much. I love you too. I love you. It's okay. It's okay. Ndulue, your highness. You want me to sleep with a mad woman? No, that's not possible. Mbano. Your highness, consider what you are going to get afterwards. To hell with the throne! I mean, do I have to debase myself to that level? Mbano, I give up. Uh, your highness, no. No, that's a very wrong option. You you see, you've been very resilient about getting an heir to your throne. And that I appreciate and admire so much. You don't have to give up now. So you will have me sleep with a mad woman, Ndulue? Oh, all right. I mean, I can't even... How do I, how do I even start? Your Highness, you are the king of the universe. I mean, you can do anything you want to. Not to that extent. I can't debase myself to that level. I mean, I can't even imagine the stench that will be coming from the body of a mad woman, not to talk about our privates. Yes, Your Highness. Your Highness, see, all I'm worried and bothered about is your happiness. If happiness is that, I would rather remain the way I am. What are the hour or Joanna? King of universe. Yes? Who is it? to our problem. Mm -hmm. well, let me hear it. I was able to get this herbal concussion from a powerful native doctor. And he said, once we both take it, we beget a male child. You went to a native doctor on my behalf? Yes. To prove my love for you, and it will be my pleasure to carry the air to your throne in my womb. How foolish. How foolish of you to think that you will deceive me into having another daughter from you. But your highness, the native daughter promised me a male child this time around. Enough! I gave you a second chance because you are my second wife. The first child you had for me was a girl, though she died. The second one was also a girl. Now you want to give me a set of female twins. 
Mbano. Your Highness, I... Listen, let this be the first and the last time I will hear you say you want to consult a native doctor on my behalf. Do you understand that? And I'll pass this same information down to the others. You can't eat your cake and still have it. I gave you a chance, but you failed just like the others. So don't come back here to me for anything. Now get out. Get out! Out! And the pastor. Nonsense. You think you can compound my problems with giving me an, another set of female twins? <sighs> now I can't even sleep. How much is it? 78,000. Good. That's the money I realized in the selling of my land at Asoko. Ah. That's the only piece of land you have? Yes. What will I do? I have to sell it in order to realize money in sending my daughter to school. Ah, Emi. Emi or law school. I've told you people I don't want to go to school. Will you shut that your mouth off? You don't want to go to school. What do you want to do then? Tell me, Funke. Ah, Papa, you know I'm good in football. Eh? I want to be a footballer and make a career out of it. Yes. Build everything. You see, every house I build and get mansion. Have you forgotten you're a woman? Ah. What will football fetch you in life? So many things, Papa. Ah. Funke, I thought we have discussed this before. Oh, baby! You have to go to school so that you will be a good wife to your husband. Eh? Ah. 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 Oh, you're running. You're running, right? Don't worry. I will surely deal with you. My son, kill it. Your useless daughter beat up our younger brother this afternoon. Ah. What did she do? Ah. Please stop calling her useless. Funke. She's useless, and her news is all over the town. She, she nearly killed her younger brother, and now he's in the hospital. Mama Funke. Funke will Funke. kill me in this house. Funke. Ah. At least, none of my children. Calm down, please. Yes, calm down. Eh? We will settle this matter amicably. Benny, we will settle it. Eh? Please calm down. Eh? Hey. Funke! <laughs> Calm down, Baba Funke. Calm down. Emi? Calm down, Baba Funke. <sighs> hey, Lekini. Funke? Funke? Are you happy now? You are happy? Benny, you are happy? Look at what you've cost me and your mother to spend the little money we collected on hospital bill. Benny! Funke! Funke! What is wrong with you? What have I done to you to deserve all this, Funke? Eh, hey, Funke? Ah. Am I that stupid boy? Call me a boy. Ah. Am I a boy, Mama? Am I a boy? Is that why you want to set into an early grave? Hi! Eh, hey, Funke? Huh? Because he call you a boy. Ah, Mama, I don't like people calling me that kind of name. I told you people. Shut up, wait, wait, shut up your mouth there! Why do you need to complain to, her, to his mother? Shut up! You should have complained to his mother! Yes! Uh, 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 Baba, there is a reason for everything. I told you people that I don't want to go to school. That I want to uh, be a footballer. Ah, ah. Mama, Baba, 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 Yeah! You have to talk to Yes, please. Easy, Baba Funke. Easy. You know what better, man? Take it easy on her. Take it easy on her, Baba Funke. The little money I collected, I've spent it on hospital bill because of Funke.
You like it? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> ah! Juice. Juice. <laughs> Ask you something. Eh? What was the last time you do? You want to know? Uh, yes, yes. You want to know when last I did? Yes. Uh, come on, come on. Eh? No, 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 wait. Eh? There is somebody I will bring for you. That person is a doer. Hey. <laughs> if you do it, eh? <laughs> so I'll go and call him, eh? Mm. Do that, that anything he tells you, you do. Do that music they say after the reggae make you do. Piece of Mwishi. What a surprise beholding you this morning. I came to deliver a very important message from the gods. I receive lots of messages from the gods nowadays. It looks like they take the light in communicating with me. How blessed I am. Let me hear your message. Your prayers and supplications have been received by the gods. I take that to be good news then. But. Why do I keep getting buts from the gods? Your Highness, you must listen. You must listen to me. The gods demand for more sacrifice. Oh, I knew you would say that. Of course I knew you would say that. I have been sacrificing to the gods and I'm tired! Now, how about sacrificing my scrotum to the gods? Your Highness, speak with caution. I of Mishi read my lips. I am tired of sacrificing to the gods, so now I'm looking elsewhere for a better solution. <laughs> Your Highness, I hope you know what you're doing. Mouthpiece of Wenshi. I'm sorry. I forgot that I haven't even brushed my teeth this morning. So, can we talk another time? Uh -huh. Some other time. Oh, yes, eh? Okay. Ah! Open, I want to mono here. Eh, Belisi, you put on this yaga. Okay. No problem. Okay. Yes, you Yes, Kadesi. She, uh, she just went out. She will soon be back, sir. No, I don't have that kind of time. Uh, I'll be back again next week. Uh, yes, sir. And do uh, to ever have her. Ha! Amy? <laughs> Just manage that, okay? Till I come back next Hi! Week. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's your... It's your... She's here already. Funke! One bill! Funke, my boy! What's the matter with her? What's, what's wrong? Why is she running away? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. She's always shy to stranger. Oh, I see. Well, tell her I'm harmless and that I mean well. I will do that, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, Kabisi, I thank you so much for the money. I thank you very well. It's Manage it, okay? It should go, it should go. Uh, when I come back next week, I will. Uh, you will know that uh, um, Ezendeze was here. <laughs> um, 
please tell her of my good intentions. Hmm? All right. Except my eyes are deceiving me. That girl looks like a boy. You saw very clearly, Your Highness. So why did you bring such a girl to me to marry? Eh? Why wouldn't I break your head right now? Your Highness, because I'm your faithful and loyal servant. You know, all my... My courtesies, my... Everything I did to her parents were just out of pretense. How can I marry such a girl? Your Highness, I will explain. I have been bringing different women to you, both from our community, from our tribes, and from other tribes too. And none of them have been able to give you what you've wanted. So I told myself, why don't you step up your radar? Which I did. So when I saw this girl, Funke, I looked at her, it was obvious to me she's a tomboy. And I said to myself, with the way this girl is looking, everything about her womb will be feminine, which means more sons for you, Your Highness. Ah, I see. Are you implying that from her looks she will probably give me sons? Well, it is very obvious, Your Highness, the way she looks like a boy, obviously. There's a huge possibility that she is going to give birth to male twins because everything about her is masculine. You may be right. You may be right after all. I have never advised you wrongly, Your Highness. Yeah, I thought about it thoroughly before going to her. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. Well, let's see what comes out of it. Of course, you're right. <laughs> I have never advised you wrongly. <laughs> well, who else can I trust if not you? I am one with your highness. I thought he's one of those people that I have problem with. That's why I took off. Error. That is the man we are talking about. Which man? The man we are telling you now, the king. King? Kabesi. Yes. He is very rich. Well, I had a disturbing news about him. Which news? That he already has eight wives. Yes. He can marry as many as, as a king. No problem. There is a reason why he do so. None of them could give me a male child. <laughs> that is not a problem at all. A male looking at our daughter. You should know that once she gets into that house, then boys will flow. <laughs> I trust her. <laughs> okay. Let's not stretch this matter. She will give you what she wants, Benny. Wait, wait. Both of you are actually trying to tell me to get married. Ah, no go work. Lie. Funke, Ero. So what will happen to my football career? Yes, what will happen to my football career? Is that marriage? Marriage, you come, marriage. Ah, yes, I'm not interested. Ah, ah, ah. Marriage, come, marriage. Ah. Fuke? Oh, no, interested. What? Ah, ah, ah. Step you up. must ah. marry, or this house will not enter me and you. Ah. Papa ah. Fuke, don't be harsh on her. Eh? Marriage is not by force. Ah. Mama Fuke, you're supporting her not to get married. Knowing fully well that she is giving us trouble in this house. She has to get married so that we can be rich. She has to marry a king. Benny, she must!
Welcome to my palace made in gold. I hope you like it. Ah, me like it. Ah, see my son. <laughs> see beautiful eyes, say. Ah, what do? Now you get this. Yes, yes. Carry on. Oh, well, it's one of my many cars. Uh, you know, my fleet of cars. Yes. You know, there are many things around here I need to teach you so that when we start going to functions, you'll be able to blend very easily. Ah, me functioning! Me like the functioning! When we will start the functioning, <laughs> me like the no, functioning! Anytime from now, you know, we, I constantly have occasions to attend, you know, parties and things like that, you know? My <laughs> son, the king, is there any football teacher around here? Football pitch? Yes! Well, we we have a football field around, but you know, it's not far from here. You know, you, you like football? I mean, it's footballer, I mean, it's striker, I mean, it's Ronaldo. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe I'll, I'll join you for training so I can get more speed. You know, I used to play when I was in school. But, you know, being a king, as in Dieze, uh. you know, as in Dieze means king of kings. Uh. Um, ah. you, certain privileges are taken away from you, like going to play with um, ordinary in the model. You know, oh, sorry, I forgot you are Yoruba. <laughs> I'm <a> Yoruba. <laughs> ah. Well then, I, it's been a long journey. I know that um, you, you need to um, freshen up. I need yeah. to freshen up too. So um, I'll take you to your room. Uh, I'll go to freshen up in my room. When you freshen up, you meet me in my room. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Bring down her luggage. Bring them inside. What is this? What are you doing? Kabiesi, I'm having fun. Do you get to join me? No, 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 not at all. Listen, you are now married. And if I may tell you, this is a king's house. A royal bedroom. Okay? Kabisi, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but let me just say drink. You don't have to drink. You are now a married woman. You don't have to smoke and drink. Ah, Kabiesi, what does uh, the smoking and drinking got to do with a uh, married woman? Everything. I'm totally against it. Ah, Pimile, Pimile. I'm sorry. Sorry. Stop shouting. People outside will hear your voice and think uh, I'm, I'm, I'm disturbing you. I'm looking for trouble. Unke doesn't look for trouble. I'm sorry I shouted at you. Eh? You know it's late now. Everybody should be in bed. Come to bed. Not until you dance with me. Yes? Dance what? Yes. Because yeah. I know you are pretending. I know you can dance. Yes? Yes? Oma dance with yeah. you. Dance. Yes? Na banya. Yeah. Oh. Let us leave the dance till tomorrow. Don't worry. Gabi is Ah! Oh boy, you're over. Ah! Oh, let me tell my bro. Ah! Hey, boy. Ah! You see? Ah, 
Si as a little dancing. Eh? Yeah, come here, see. yes. Ah, cabez! Ah, il Okay, let me call the doctor. Uh, no, don't worry. I, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you okay? You are fine, Kabiesi. Uh, yes, I'm fine. Are you sure, Kabiesi? Uh, watch me dance for you. Hey. Watch me dance for you, Kabiesi. Who cares? Oh, Ah, Ah. 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 Abyss, Abyss, ah, 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 Bye, the Paris bubble. Come on, you I I Are you now ready to give me what I want? That depends on how strong you are for me, you bad girl. <laughs> I'm strong, bro. Let's do that, old man. <laughs> I'll kill you. Yeah, you go, old man. <laughs> you get, you get. <laughs> <laughs> Abesi, hmm? what are you doing? I'm resting. I'm resting, okay? Mm. We have just done only the uh, three rounds and you are resting. I better come finish the work. Eh? No, that was how that Calabar girl dealt with me. But, hey, how can you find Latasha? I mean, she never came here. Wow. Mm. I noticed the way you were walking when we were coming in. My name is Biko. Take it easy. Take it easy before this. Uh, Young and vibrant girls will kill you for me. <laughs> Please, Biko. Old blood and new blood, they are not the same. Huh? Biko. Don't worry. I know how to handle them. That is why when I finish with any one of them, uh, there is no resistance anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not a problem. But it is a problem for me. Your problem is my problem. Can't you see? I no longer sleep at night. Eh? Because of you. My brother, I am more than worried. You don't have to be worried. I'm all right. It's all right. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to the house. Anyway, what brings you at this time? <laughs> my brother. What is bigger than the cricket has entered the cricket soul. 
I just came for a little help. Okay, which is? I need money for my children's school fees. I see. Um, all right. How much are we looking at now? Mm, just 50,000. 50. I'll give you 100,000 Naira cash before you leave. Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always speak of you. And I will not stop begging God to continue to bless you. He said. Yes. He will continue to bless. He said. <laughs> um, talking about these, my women. You know the last one plays football. And you remember I played football school days. Uh, yes. Footballer has made football. <laughs> and uh I'm a baby like that. I'm a no crap, I'm a baby like DK Oganigwe. As a desert. I can I can't boy. Oh do I call it. Uh, oh, the car. <laughs> I'm a baby like that. I know where you're going, just forget it. I'm a belly fair. As a desert. Okay. This say no thing to me again. Say no such thing to me again. Because if you try, what will you do this with my man that I don't even know where the king picked you from? Eh? You know they do like this, they do as if you know they see me. I'm gonna kill you. And this is the to this palace. What is 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 what I'm sorry. You dare touch my wife? Huh? My love. She slapped and kicked my tummy. You know I'm pregnant. Huh? Oh, your highness. That's a lie, yo. You know I can never do such a thing. Shut up! Before I strangle you. What, what business do I have with you? Huh? How dare you? Huh? You couldn't give me a, a male child. Now you want to kill the woman? And the twins, twin boys she wants to give me. Eh? Your Highness, I didn't do that, so I did So keep quiet before I, I, I kill you there. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Don't let it ever repeat itself again, you hear me? Yes, Your Ever! Highness. Otherwise I will I will... I'm sorry, Your Highness. I won't do it again, I promise. I won't do it again. If I call the car or attack or maka, darling, mm. how are you now? Yes. You're okay. Eh? Yes. Let's go. If you go, I wonder how much you do it. Okay, my job more than you know.
Imoto. Ah, I saw my baby. You can't use this car. Ah, kill the world here. Yeah. Would the more would that be? God, I want to sell it. I'm sorry. You made for the king only. Who the king? Who the king be? I'm sorry, man. Yes. What's going on here? Where is my SUV? The queen left it now. Your Highness, what is the problem? Do you have you seen what you have cost? I told you I don't like that particular Yoruba girl. I told you I don't like her, but you insisted that she marry her. Now see, she has turned my house upside down and even had the audacity to make away with my SUV. The worst part is that for one year now she, she has not even taken in. But your highness. No, 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 but, but me, no, but. It's your fault. When I tell you something, I told you my spirit doesn't, doesn't agree with that girl. Yet you, you, you insist that I should marry her. Now see what, what's happening. She has taken away my SUV, one of my choice vehicles. Follow her. Go. I need to get that vehicle back. Why are you following me? Follow her and get the vehicle back. It won't answer so. What do you say about the family? Can you do something to help me? Huh? What do you say about the family? Ha! Hmm. Hmm. You to go with his personal jeep. I, I, eh? I am the favorite wife. Only <laughs> wife, Nami, be the best. Ebike. Hey, ah, Fuke, do it, do it. Fuke, Mama. I thought you said you carry belle. Ah, Where is the belle? Mama, I know see the belle. You know see the belle? You see the belle. Fuke, Mama, you go see the jeep. Ah, 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 Let me have the keys. Leave my presence. You heard me clearly. Leave my presence now. Immediately. Nobody is talking about the jeep here. You hear me? Nobody is talking about the car. You have been with me in this house for more than a year. It's like I'm living with a man. Nothing at all to show for it. Not even a miscarriage. Happy 
But it's not my fault, yeah? It's not my fault that I couldn't give you a, a milk child. I know. That is why I said you should leave my presence because I don't have any, 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 any use for you anymore. Yes. Now listen to me. And listen real good. Yes. I've heard your stories. Before coming to live with you as a wife. Yes. I've heard how you use that dump your wife. Yes. See me, Funke. Your robot girl. You cannot try that. Yes, you cannot try that. Who you be? Yeah? What's up with you? Why not bang boy with you? Now leave my presence now. I said no. I am not leaving. Yes, I'm not leaving. Wait, wait. Do you know what I'm making? Let's change. Eh? What's up, man? Who am I? I'm telling you that I'm a robot. When, when I get up here, calm down. Who am I? I will kill you. Now, now. what's up with your king? I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. Ogenejiro, why did they cry? Sister, you are right. My own don't finish. I, I don't get belly. Who give you belly? Ima. Eh? Ogenejiro. Ima? That conductor. Oh, okay, name me. I just say you open eye, you. Ordinary boss conductor. Now he give you belly. Hey, oh. Ah. Yes, I'm waiting to go do what? You didn't ask me what you go do. You don't fuck up now. Nah. You didn't ask me what you go do. I should take do and I go meet and I may take responsibility. You don't concern me now. Nah. It's the you know, see. A man never drop belly food. Shoo. Sure. Talk of saying that marriage is. I don't let Stella move. Make it take her easy. But you know, go cry. You could just do it like that. Eh, hey, what? So when you the rest leg, they sweet you. You know, you know, no say you never chop belly food. As he take give you the belly, that's so why he go take take care of you. See, this small business, small tell of what they do here now. No feed only me, not to talk of you and begin. I beg, I beg, I beg. Carry your toe where you bath. Go there, go meet up. I know they. Sister, help me out now. Eh? Eh, sister, help me out with the situation. Help me. I tell you, I get plenty of work to do. All these things where they here, people will get them, they come. I beg. Go meet him. Are they busy? Tell him, say, you know, see me. It's not only you I get. Baby. You know, they here? Baba. Come here. Hey, John, come here. We are so sorry for what our daughter did. Honestly. You didn't train her like that, you said. You didn't train her like that. That wild cat you gave me as a wife, you didn't. You see what she did to me? Look at it. Angel, my baby. Angel, my in law. We are so sorry, my in law. Ta! Who are you calling your in law? Eh? Who is your in law? If you dare address me again as your in law, I will deal with you too. Ah. My Lord, please release our daughter for us, please. Hey, John. Hey, John, can you see? Well, that's that 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 man. You call, that man you call your daughter will remain in that cell until I decide otherwise. Ah, can you see? Hey, John, I promise you that as soon as I get home, I'm going to caution her. Eh, that police said is not conducive for her. Hey, John, she's a woman. Who is a woman? Eh? Who do you call a woman? That's a man. I will treat her like a man for daring to attack me. Ah! Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. I have finished with both of you. Okay? So when you finish shedding your crocodile tears, you leave my house. Otherwise, I will give instruction now for the bodyguards to throw you out or release my dogs. And listen to me. Oh. Well, 
your daughter has beaten more. In fact, by the time I finish with both of you, with her, and Unu just said, call for no one. Okay, as in the as in. Your Highness, the chief priest was very angry the way you spoke to him the last time he came. The chief priest told me the gods are requesting for another sacrifice. And I told him that I don't understand why the gods are reluctant to give me a son. Your Highness, but you know the gods are all we have in this kingdom. You have to give in to their demands. How long will I keep doing that? What sin have I committed that the, 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 the gods wouldn't give me a son out of nine wives? Nine! Nine women! Your Highness, don't you think it's high time you stop taking up wives since it doesn't solve the situation the wound to your face it is not as oh forget the wound on my face if the gods have been merciful and kind enough to give me a son do you think i'll keep bringing women into my house as wives why not do the sacrifice and see how it will go since the chief priest has assured it will bring to an end your traverse <laughs> Your Highness, I feel your pain. No king will be happy not having a, a son or an heir to the throne. But the way you are going about it is what is wrong. No man goes ahead of the gods. You say you feel my pains. Yes. Yet you advise me to stick with the gods. I don't think you understand what I'm going through. Maybe when you seek for a son for 20 years, you will begin to understand better. I'm not just looking for a son and looking for an heir, a successor to this throne and you advise me not to seek solution elsewhere. But it hasn't solved the problem. Well, it's better I keep on seeking for solution. Perhaps someday luck will smile at me instead of sticking with gods that don't care. The gods need the sacrifice. I don't need a sacrifice. I need a son, an heir. <laughs> You really need to talk to your brother. He's getting out of hand by the day with his stubbornness. <laughs> I am glad you noted the word stubbornness in your statement. Yes, yes, I did. Don't tell me. KDK say Apo Nyukuwara. KDK say Apo Nyukuwara. How can you talk to a stubborn man? He's your younger brother. Or oh, is he no longer your younger brother? Hmm. That was before he became the king. Now I mean nothing to him. In fact, he is now my elder brother. Mbao. Ah, don't say this. Um, all the same, you need to advise him against his habit of changing women like clothes. Idika, you don't idea what if I need. You think I've not done that? I have done so a couple of times. Yet he remained obdurate. This is serious. The gods are demanding for sacrifice. Yet he could not listen to the chief priest. He do not listen to any other person than that one he calls his uh, advisor. Um, kiss that fire. Um, idi. Um, ndulwe. Onukwa. Huh? Don't mind him. I have warned against his dangerous advice to my brother. You see, Akabo prefers to listen to no other person but him. He's playing with fire. The gods will soon strike. Um. Well, I feel for the king. I wish he can have a son and um, let his mind be at rest. Mm. Idika, when a man fetches an ant infested firewood, what do you think? I also think we'll tell you a little. Good. 
He is the one that doesn't want to give his mind a rest. Yes. The chief priest said, patient. That the gods told him to be patient. Instead of him to do so, he goes about looking for women to impregnate. I am afraid that one day, he will bring a mad woman into the palace. To fear her. Until he slows down, you are going to hear worse. Now look at what the Yoruba woman uh, uh, he married did to his face. Akabogu huh? one name is too stubborn. And I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> feel what? Don't you feel anything? No, I still understand. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Look, tell me you're joking. Does it look like I'm joking? <laughs> Serious? No, no, you're joking, right? I'm not joking. <laughs> no, how? Do you want to know? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. In nine months, I'll be giving the king a son. <laughs> Wait, slow down. The king impregnated you? Who else will? I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Please. Wait, 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 wait. Cool down. Pregnant. Just pregnant. cool down. Hey, tell me. <gasps> Finally. <sighs> hey. Oh God, I can't hold it. Calm down. How did you do it? <sighs> Gosh, I can't just explain. <laughs> Why is he king of one man? Oh, yeah. Only for this place. I'm just, I'm just getting tired of it. I don't want you, you want to fall down this gate? Who that? Who are you and what are you looking for? Hmm? Don't fire you! Don't fire you and fire everybody in this house! You, my dear. I want money. Ijele wants money. I want money for milk. My child wants milk. Now, Livia, you mad woman. Hmm? I leave. Leave. It is your father who is mad. It is your mother who is mad. In fact, all your relatives are mad, mother, mothers. Hey, hey. What's going on there? My king. <laughs> she wants to see you. My, my love, <laughs> I, I, I want money. Ijana wants money. My child wants milk. <laughs> now get that woman out of that place. Get her out. She is crazy. Get her out of that place. And I don't want to see her here again ever. Okay. What are you laughing at? What are you staring at like that? Uh, uh, there is no problem, Babana. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't blame you. I don't blame you all. What you all women do here is sit around gossip, eat, drink, spend my money. Send me, Babana. I am sorry. can do it. Why are you still crying after I pleaded with you? Eh? Why? Why won't I cry? 
My daughter has been in a police custody. Go and bring my daughter. Me of wahala. Go and bring my daughter. <laughs> I know. I know. What, 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 what do I do now? Ah. All I know is go and bring my daughter. I don't know. Go and bring my daughter. What do you want me to do? Eh? You saw that day we visited King. He ordered his guard to throw us out. Eh? What do you want me to do again? I warned you. I warned you against pushing that my daughter into marriage. Eh? Go and bring my daughter for me. Oh. I know, but oh, 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 what do you want me to do? Eh? Tell me. Anything you want to do, do. If to sell that your cake, sell your cake to bring my daughter ah, for me. Only cake I have. You want me to sell it? The only cake you know that I, 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 I'm feeding on. Ah, Mama Funke. Hey! Pastor, I really need your help in my situation. You see, I have performed all kinds of sacrifices to the gods of our ancestors just to have a son. I have done everything humanly possible, including sleeping with a mad woman, all to no avail. So Ndulue here now suggested that we come and see you, so you pray to your God to intervene. That's why we're here. Um, it's all right. Anugumi Fiokun. The Lord Jesus we serve is a generous God. He never failed. What I can assure you right now is that soonest you will see reasons to smile again. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Don't say thank you. Say amen to that. Amen. Uh, Pastor, to add to what Buruburi has said, he is willing to do everything humanly possible to save the situation. Whatever you suggest we should do, he is very willing and ready to do it. All right. All right. Let me pray for him. Everlasting Father, my God, I thank you for a wonderful day like this. I thank you for a wonderful thing that you want to do in the life of my brother here. And whatever he seek must be granted to him in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Lord says that he will give you a son, but you are not yet ready. How? You are yet to find the right woman that will give you what you desire. Pastor, if you understood this man very well, he already told you that he is married to nine wives. Nine? Nine, some. Maritanani, Waitanani. So, what do you suggest we do in this situation? It depends on what you want. If I understand him very well, I don't know if he has the kind of woman he's talking about. Uh, uh, yes, Pastor. Is there anybody you have in mind? Maybe someone from your church or, I mean, someone that is filled with the Holy Spirit whom God can use to save this situation? Uh, well, I might know someone, but I'm not sure yet. I will pray over it and give you feedback. Oh, okay. Okay, Pastor, please do whatever you can. Let me assure you. You will never regret helping me. May the Almighty God grant you what you desire. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. It is well. It is well, Pastor, of course. We will come to see you later if this thing eventually works. It is well. <laughs> This is where they dance, waiting happen. Hey, sister, this God will live for heaven. In good way. In fact, he is the best. Hey, Jiro, tell me the good news. My hey, sister, since the day where I started the attend Pastor Daniel to church, after the abortion, my life changed tremendously. He is so good and encouraging. It be like say, God, they live inside me. I they feel God's presence in my life. Hey, Jiro. Leave all this story now. Tell me the good news. Stop beating about the bush. Ah, calm down. It is a rush. Your bloody hearts. My pastor called me. Say, one man come in office. Say, they look for a wife to marry. I can't go there. Hmm. Guess what I see? Igwe. Eh? 
royal highness, Igwe, the king of the universe. Eh? Hmm. Yes. Hey, Jiro, you sure? Ah. <laughs> As I come from church, me and I meet for road. In give me this money. So make a take drink mineral. Say wine money, they come. Jiro, wake me up, Nadri. Na Now reality, wake up. Wake up. Shall I tell you? This man polo hide him before Joe. I don't am. This time, na maybe the queen. Hey, oh, my sister, I'm so happy for you. Hey, sister, don't worry. I go change your business so that you know we'll get on back. I go change my man life and everybody. You see all those people within this village. We see a Jiro lazy. We see I no go, I no go make and fall. Even you, sister, but I don't forgive you. <laughs> I don't forgive you, but I go show them say this God made it sleep. You know they sleep oh. You know they sleep at all. Oh, God, I'm so happy. Oh, thank God. Oh. Thank God. Well, well. Show you the hungry. Just the way Emma, they give me for more. What they cut for you. Small, small. Wait, I go buy you food. Let you chop. This time around. <laughs> Better food. Wait, you You like the taxi. I didn't know. she wants? I don't know. She has been coming here for a week now, asking for the king. And we'll keep on chasing her. She keep on coming here. Madam, what is the problem? Hmm? Problem? It is you that have problem, not to jail it. Eh? Go punish your enemies. Eh? I'm only asking what the problem is. Who you are looking for what you want? <laughs> She's asking us. Are you the king? Do you have milk? Ha! My son wants milk. Give me money for 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 milk. Sorry, my queen. It's okay. It's okay. Hello. 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 What is it you want to talk to me about? I saw a mad woman with a baby. At the gate, looking for you. What business of mine is that? What do I have to do with a mad woman? Anyway, I had a dream. You had a dream? Well? I saw you terribly sick in my dream. <laughs> I saw you terribly sick in my dream. Do I look sick to you now? Do I look sick? My husband, I'm serious. Please, you have to stop this madness of taking a new wife all the time. You call it madness? Yes, because it's not working. You are killing yourself. And it breaks me, seeing you lose your strength every day. What makes you think I lose strength? It's all over you. You are not the man I married 20 years ago. Please. I married you more than 20 years ago and I don't have a son. The gods alone have the power to give you a son. You have to stop listening to negative advices. So long as I don't have a son, I must look for a solution. My king, you know I would love to give you a son. It will give me joy to see you happy again. But the gods... Oh, stop using the gods as excuse for your failure and incompetence. You haven't given me a son, so I must seek for a solution. 
to that problem. So next time you dream, dream of a solution and not seeing me sick in your dream. As in Deze, he's sick. I think I've finished with you. You may go. Nyemefe. Dogu, as in Deze, I mean, when one walk it. Hmm? When you're the kind of water, you buy no. It's all water. Indra. Yes, my queen. You really have to stop advising the king from taking another wife. He's getting out of hand. This is the tenth wife woman he's getting married to. My queen, you are sounding very conclusive. Like I am the brain behind his marrying multiple wives. Well, to correct you, that's wrong because I am not. Besides, the king is old enough to know what he wants. And he doesn't really take my advice. Then why are you there as an advisor? Call me ceremonial advisor. That was set in my heart. Because he doesn't take my advice. Then step up. Talk to him. Everybody believes he listens to you. Talk some senses into him. And lose my job? I mean, How? get fired? How? See. My job is to make the king happy. And that includes conceding to whatever he comes up with. It doesn't matter how my advice or suggestion. If I press him further to go by my own way, he will fire me. Are you saying that your job is more important to you than the life of your king? The king's life is important to me. And the job is important to me. My queen, I don't mean to disrespect you here. But is there anything wrong with the king taking another woman to give him what you people cannot give? How dare you talk to me in that manner? If you listen to me carefully, I said, I don't mean to disrespect you. And if you don't mind, First, I want to use the restroom. You are most welcome to my office. Thank you, Pastor. Really, Pastor, words cannot express my gratitude to you for praying for me the last time I came here. That prayer really worked. You see, my wife is now pregnant, and I'm grateful to you. Wow, God is wonderful. God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. I can see a bouncing baby boy in that womb. Agadagan one okay. Amen. You know, Pastor, we've uh, come to show our gratitude to you for leading me to God. And I know that he will never disappoint me. Not at all, you man of faith. That's why I like you. May the joy never cease from your home. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Here is a token from us to you for your upkeep, your office, and your church. Wow. That's for me. Wow. God is awesome. Bow down your heads. Let me pray for you. Okay? Everlasting Father, my God, I thank you for your one. I need your help. Save me from this shame. Please. Mbak, what do you want me to do now? I want to become pregnant like you. <sighs> mm. My friend, this is what I get from you each time I ask you for a favor. Please, I need your help. Okay. I will tell you the truth. I actually went to a native doctor in PH. He gave me a concussion. 
for me and the king. How did you manage to give it to the king? Okay. I put it in his drink. <laughs> and he took it. He unconsciously slept with me without knowing. That was a big risk you took. I <laughs> know it. A risk to have a son for the king is worth it. So very soon, I will surprise the king and his new wife. My friend, I'm so, so happy for you. <laughs> but please, I need your help. <coughs> Show me the way. The ones I've gone to are not so powerful like him. Please. I'll try my best. Besides, what are friends for? <laughs> I'll try. If I were. So, it took you months to finally open up to me. And I thought you were my friend. <laughs> now I know the real you. You want to be the first to give the king a male child? That will never, never. You all should stop crying, please. It's so unfortunate that we witnessed this tragedy at this point in time. <laughs> she was the only friend I had around here. She was my best friend. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> really very sad and painful especially for me as her husband you all have to be careful she died of a heart disease that I never knew of so from now on you be very careful and report to me every now and then on the state of your health she will be buried immediately has given birth to a bouncing baby boy. Ah! <laughs> hey! At last! <laughs> Mother and child in good condition. Hey! <laughs> 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 I owe you a debt of gratitude. 
In fact, I don't know what I will do for you. You know, you, you have always been there, and you always bring up... Hey! So poor! Or they can't get it. Go and tell the town crier to go throughout the community and announce that Igwe Akabogo, king of the universe, Ezendieze, Buruburu, now has a Now has a son. Let the royal drum beat. Let the town come out for big celebration. Because what we are looking for has finally landed. Happened. The eagle has landed. The gods have finally answered. Hey! <laughs> I will do as you say, we will. Oh, who knows the level now? Eh? I'm a blue one on the one I want, no, no, then do. Ezioy, this one you have come to visit me this night. I hope there's no problem. My piece of mushy. Hello, Melo. She will remain here, dear. Oh, God, a year now. There is serious problem. No bother. <laughs> and what could that be? Have you not heard of the newborn heir to the throne? Upe. Upe. Is that a problem? That was a startling news if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Yes. Eh? <laughs> now, listen. There are three things that cannot be hidden. Hmm? The sun. The moon and the truth. Eh? Very soon the truth will be revealed. Oh, don't you trust me again? I do. Okay, <laughs> I thank you for all you have been doing for me. I know. I know that I'm owing you. Eh. And I'll pay you in full. Eh. Oh, the no man. Oh, the man. You are all welcome, my chiefs. I invited you all here today to celebrate with me, for fortune has finally smiled on me. May I introduce to you my lovely wife and handsome son. Yes. We welcome you, our great friends. We've waited your arrival. I thank the gods for answering our prayers. He said... You are welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. May the gods bless your future. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, words cannot express the joy in my heart when I heard the news of your arrival. May the gods protect you. You will live long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my future king. I welcome you uh, to this peaceful kingdom of ours. May the gods bless you. And the woman that begot you, it shall be well with you. He said! <laughs> well, mm. my prayer for you all is this. As you celebrate with me today in happiness and joy, may joy and happiness Never depart your homes. He said, King of the universe. You know, I, I, I'm so happy. I mean, I am overwhelmed with joy that I feel like crowning him right now. Sit <laughs> <laughs> here. <laughs> Don't make it that. Please, please help me. Help me to immensely thank this lovely, beautiful lady 
who has wiped away my tears. Oh. I will spoil her as Ezeburburu, Igwe Akabo, King of the Universe, Ezendieze, Oganigwe. I will buy her the whole world. <laughs> please feel free and, and make very. My, my queen, you can take it. We need to get to the hospital immediately. I'm so happy I'm pregnant for the king. I can't wait to tell him that the, the phone we had two weeks ago has resulted to good news. And hopefully, a male child. <sighs> Even though that sapling woman has given him a son, I'll give him to boys, twin, and I'll get rid of that boy. Children, you will succeed and be respected as a future king's mother. Oh, you will. Yes. From the results I'd have here, your child is suffering from sickle cell anemia. What? No, 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 doctor. That can be. I am AA, and my wife's genotype is also AA. Were you both medically certified? Of course. Yes, doctor. I'm AA. I doubt. Because your child can be SS while you both are A's. Genetically, something is amiss. Yeah. Oh, Biko Kwano. All right. What would you have us do now? What do we do? Um, I have to remind the genital time for you both. And DNA for the child. But doctor, is that necessary? Can't you find a way to cure my son of this ailment? Please. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Madam, sickle cell anemia is not easily cured. Some patients are lucky to outgrow it, but they are few. Alright. Alright. Please we run the test. But be careful. Be careful of what you're doing. And be sure. Okay, I have to do so, but you people have to come back in the evening time for the results. Mbano, Mbano, we'll wait here. We'll wait for as long as it takes. Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, as you say so. You are still fidgeted. Are you all right? How can I be all right? How can I be all right when our son is here? How? Don't worry, we're already in hospital. He'll be okay. Calm down. Maybe I should go and call the pastor so that you will come and pray for him while you wait for him for the doctor, please. When I have guards around, how can I allow my queen to just go alone calling a pastor? I'll send one of my guards to do that, so relax. Okay, if you say so. How was it? Are you done with the test? With the, with the how did it go? Successful, but disappointing as well. You you confuse me, doctor. Successful and yet disappointing. How do you mean? Sir, how can you marry a lady that you know nothing about her genotype? She's uh, AS. Uh, doctor, just one minute. If I understand this genetics and chromosome thing properly, 
AA and AA cannot produce SS, right? No. Which is why I ran a DNA test. Good. Sir, the baby you call your son is not actually yours. I want to thank you all for honoring this meeting. We all know what has been happening in this palace. Our husband, the king, is in badly need of a son. And for that, he has done so many despicable things. Which one of them is sleeping with a mad woman? What? A mad woman? Yes. But it seems that you are the only one that hasn't seen a mad woman with a baby in this palace. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This scene has indeed degenerated to madness. Exactly. How? And that is one of the reasons I called this meeting. I want us all to do something about it. I don't think he's taking up another wife. Since the new one he married has given him a son. Exactly. Well, I confronted him concerning the mad woman issue, and he denied ever having anything to, to do with her. And I want us to... Move! Oh, join them! Join them! What are you all staring at? What are you waiting for? Now go on, go on, go into your apartments, all of you! Go on, come on, move! Brood of vipers. Mama Funke, I'll be leaving, eh? I'll come back in this eh? Papa Funke, me and your mommy, why are you for me? Bring my daughter for me. Well, Funke, take it easy now. Take this easy. I'm trying my best. Eh? She's also my daughter. She was always causing problems between us. Eh? What do you want me to do? That is not the best way to handle your daughter. You chase her out of the house because it's causing a problem for you. What nonsense are you talking about? Eh? What will she get as a, as, as a, as a footballer? What will she get, Mama Funke? Tell me. Eh? She's better off in a man's house than being a footballer. And you wanted that of your house. Okay. okay. You're yeah, welcome. Yes. My daughter. Oh, you wanted me out of your house because I was giving problems to you. I was better of a footballer. I know that I don't want to marry. Is that how you can't marry? Eh? No. See. See what you go to me. No, no. See. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. That, that, that is not what I. What I'm, what I'm trying to do. You want them to do what? You learned me to sell. If you had played your role as a father, then what would have happened? Yes! Funke. Funke. Please forgive your father. He acted out of guilt. You messed my life up, Papa. Uh, 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 you messed my life up. Please, please forgive me, I'm sorry. <laughs> You've been saying that since we were alone in the bedroom. And I'm not satisfied with your answer. Because something tells me that you are lying. That's why I called Ndulwe here, so he can hear you out. Ndulwe. Your Highness. Please ask her to tell us who the father of the boy he brought to me as my son is. <laughs> your Highness is your son, and I'm sure. Oh. I wish I'm dreaming. Woman, don't you think it's about time you stopped being stupid and go straight to the point to tell us who is the father of the child you bear? We all saw the medical report, mind you. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know what? 
You don't know who is who. How many are they? Are you confused? <laughs> it's obvious that she's bent on keeping her lie. Ndulwe. Your hands. Call the guards. Let them silence her forever. Oh, please. Guards. Please, 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 please don't call them. Please, please. Yes, I don't want to die, please. Yes, yes, don't stop. speak! Stop! Stop! Okay. I'll see the truth. It's, it's for your soul. God. God. All right. All right. Whose son is he then? He's the pastor's son. Pastor. Huh? Pastor. Your highness. <laughs> Pastor. Yes. Yes. He said, he said you're looking for a male child and he doubt if you can get one. He offered to sleep with me and it worked. I'm sorry. I'm warm. Hey. I'm sorry. Oh, it's so fresh. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Your Highness, we couldn't find him. What do you mean you couldn't find him? Huh? He has already packed out before our arrival. We tried to ask the neighbor. He said he didn't know where he packed to. Ah. Uh, why should he do that? He has already packed out? Yes, sir, Ernest. Hi. So even pastors can cheat. Pastors can also cheat. Why did they cry again? What did happen? Sister, I don't die. What did happen? Why did they cry? Hey, I don't mess up. My life don't yank. My yawa don't gas finish. Tell me what did happen. Tell me, talk to me. I don't know, say King go find out. Oh. Find out, say what did happen now. I even hear say you don't born. I they plan to come next week, come see you now. I just say I don't win. No. You know my pastor. Uh -huh. Pastor Darlington, I will connect you to the king. He tell me, say, King, say, he wants son. Say, no thing, say, I feel given son. Say, because a man get bad luck. He can't say, boy, he get solution. And the solution say, he go sleep with me. He go sleep with me. Altar Ogeneo. Wait in your ear, no go here for this life where you come. Eh? He sleep with you? He sleep with you. I don't go to church again. Hey, wait till I come they go church, go do again now. Nah, they go. Huh. <laughs> I can't give birth to the picky. It is the picky. Picky come, they sick. They cannot go to hospital. Run test. Doctor say, the picky get sick, who say? Hey, oh. <laughs> they can't do DNA test. My father say, no be king's son. We oh, don't fall my hand. Why not tell them say you na AS now? <laughs> Which brain? Which brain I want to remember tell them to be here, sister? When are they think of solution? Which brain? So what do you want to do now? Hi. I don't go past the house. Pastor don't jump. Hey. Oh. Eh? Who go believe say Pastor Darlington go feed do this kind thing? I no go go. Who send me go church? I no go again. Now me say go go village, go there with my mama. Ah, sister. Why you go talk this kind of thing? Make a go village. Where you know, wait till they happen for home. Hey, who will take care of this picking for me? Ooh. So what do they plan to do? They my house with the picking. Me, I won't marry you. You they here? I won't marry. And you know all these men, now once they see picking, they go say, I'm me born and they go run. I beg, I won't marry. Go village, go there with mama. I don't tell you finish. Ha. Oh no. Hi. Yeah. Sister. Sister. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Better go village, go join mama. I, I 
Ça donne oui. Oh, tu vois. Hello? It's me, Pastor Darlington. Oh, Pastor Guy Amar. <laughs> Thank you very much for a job well done. Yeah, evil guy. Look, I'm calling to tell you that I cannot run anymore. Never. Meaning? How can I run from the congregation that, that took me years to gather? Never! Just because of money. Pastor, but we had an agreement. I know. So what do you want to do? You want to come back to this village so the king will locate you and you now implicate me. Why do you do like this now? Is it how you want to pay me for a good thing I did for you? You were the one that forced me into accepting that money. I never wanted to. You made me commit adultery in the house of God by sleeping with married women. Huh? Never! I will not run again. Pastor, you will not run in that place. You be idiot. I, I, I told you, and you sheepishly accepted. Now let me tell you, I don't want you to step your feet into this town. Do you hear me? I said no. Ah, uh, you want that, be? Alright, try him now. Let me waste your life for you. Is that a threat? Now look. I will do fasting and prayer for you, and then you will see how God will punish you. Time a chair, so God, I don't know, I don't pray and fasting, I don't enjoy. I love that place. That's how we never said I go here and pray and fasting. It will not work. Try it now. Try me, you idiot. Look, 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 This is the last straw, and I'm done with this struggle. It is better I take my life than be mocked by people for celebrating someone else's son. My ego has finally withered. Even the mad woman cannot give me a son. At least, I now know that I cannot be happy for the rest of my life. It is time to depart this wicked and unfair life. I can't remember inviting you into my room. I've come with good news. What good news can there be for a cursed man? No, my king, you're not cursed. Well, say whatever you have come here to say and leave. I'm pregnant. As in there. I am not in the mood for jokes. My king, I'm not a Zinni. I'm Chiwendu. Oh. Forgive my forgetfulness, which is obviously due to senescence. My king, I'm not joking. I'm four weeks pregnant for you. Quiet! You think you can treat me like Ejiro did? Well, you may try. But you will certainly fail because I have gotten wisdom, even though it might be late. None of you can trick me again. My king. Have you forgotten the night that I came to your room? You were so drunk, and then you asked me to stay by your side. Have you forgotten you slept with me, and then pushed me out the next morning? Think very well. well. Even, even if it's true, it's obvious that what you're carrying in there, it's a girl. I'm not Okamaka and the rest. This is my first pregnancy for you. Just give me the benefit of doubt. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, my king. See, I know what I have in here is a boy, and I will surprise you with his words. Just stop trying to kill yourself until your son is born. Ndule, this one you came to my house this night. I hope there's no problem. There's a problem. Very big problem. Huh? I'm you. What happened? It's the pastor. He has been disturbing me ever since. Pastor? Yes. I, I thought you have settled with the pastor. 
Of course. He has been calling, saying that he's tired of running, that he wants to come back to his church. Good luck with her. Is he mad? Is Wotalala happy? Don't you have an agreement with him? I did. He has been calling, saying that he is going to expose us to the king. Oh! Eh? I don't want that to happen, though. No. I don't want that to happen. That's why I am here to meet you, so you can settle me, so that I will leave this town by the weekend. Can't you lose more? Are you sure about that? Yeah. Does anyone know you? It is me he knows. It's my life that's at stake here. It's okay. I will see you by weekend. Hmm? No problem. I want food. We are hungry. We want food. Calm down. We'll get you food now, okay? The food is coming, eh? We want Tell food. He tell him want food. We want food. Last food. 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 Take. Please, I'm porridge. We no come across that. Should give it to you. What of coke? Do I will bring it to you now? Cold coke. Eh. And two big meats. <laughs> Two big meals. Hold this one for a big before I change. The cook will bring the cook. Oh no! I want cook! I want cook, man! Hey! Did you say I want cook? Just move on! Yeah. So it took you seven good hours eh, to bring your results to me. Hey, Lotana. I was looking for it. Oh, you were looking for it. Just listen to yourself. Eh? How can somebody drop his Wayek results carelessly like that? Something you will use to enter the university. You just drop it like that. You were looking for it. Come on, will you give me that? I don't pump. You are looking for it. Uche Borochi Joke. Eh? Hey! I wish my F F everywhere. That's right. Those are what's in work. No wonder you dropped it carelessly because you know you don't have results. Huh? Papa, Lutana, I, I tried, man. You tried in Shigikabagi? Papa, I tried. Just that I wasn't lucky. Huh? With F, F, F everywhere. See? You said you tried. You, 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 you tried, eh, Lutana. You tried. Papa, you must pay me back my money. Go. You must get that money. Get me all the money I spent on your head. You say you you. It's nobody with people who are not normal. Now no, maybe you can see where Huh? I think your mother has some explanation to do. Yes. Can you go to see where could be gone? Hey, not even one single pass. Let alone see. Fee everywhere. Hey, baby, can we ask you something? Huh? We go go tour. Then, I go go amaro. Just, 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 just look at the idiot I'm planning to 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 ensure his future. Look at the type of result he came back with. Do something fast. Very fast. Adam, you said why you wanted to see me serious. What is it? You know, the last time we met, you told me to stop worrying and think out a solution to your problem. Yes. 
So I had to visit a very powerful native doctor from Ogrute. Ogrute? That's a very long way from here. Yes. Actually, it's a long journey. But I had to do it for my only brother. I went there. The man told me that you are under a spell. I think I've heard that before. You may have heard it before, but this one is different. Because he said that the person that cast the spell is somebody very close to you. And who could that be? Hmm. Your Highness, I don't believe it. I doubted it, but that native doctor is very powerful and was respected by many. Who is the person? Hmm. Your Highness, Ndulu, your advisor. Give me! Hmm. He is the person behind your predicament. No, 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 no. You are not serious, Adin. In fact, that native doctor from Ogurute who told you that is not serious. Nobody should take him serious. Nobody should believe. You see that? That's my problem with you. That's my problem with you. Each time I advise you on what to do, you will not believe it. You won't do what I said. Be warned. Now let me tell you one thing. What an elder sees while sitting down will be hard for a child to see, even when he is on, on, on a mountain. You won't. Yeah. Do the Aga Opanka as a dear Your Highness, this is a little job. Elojo is the daughter of Chief Ebunu of a Gala kingdom. And Chief Ebunu is related to the famous Ata of a Gala. Oh, I see. Welcome to my kingdom. Thank you, my Happy, my uh, Before we proceed further, yes, sir. I would like to have a word with you in private. Uh, okay. Your Highness, don't you like her? I mean, she's beautiful, elegant, well-structured. I don't want to take a new wife for now. Your Highness, is that a problem? If you don't like her, I mean, I can arrange for another wife for you from... Do you have a hand in my predicament? No, Your Highness. The answer is definitely no. Are you sure? Of course. I mean, Your Highness, what is going on? What is happening? You don't talk to me like this, Your Highness. Talk to me. I deserve to know what is going on. I was informed of your involvement in my predicament. By who? You don't expect me to answer that, Ndulue. I am still your king. Your Highness, you are not just my king. You are more than a king to me. You're my father, you're my brother, you're my family, you're my everything. Well, I, I understand that. That is why I waved away the message. I'm sorry I doubted your loyalty. Your Highness, I swear by the gods, I can never and will never involve myself in any conspiracy that will hurt you. I mean, that will be hurting myself. Thank you won't let me do that. Thank you. I, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Is it your hands? Uh, should I bring the beer? It's amazing. Thank you, my elders. 
for honoring my invitation. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's very unusual for the Queen to call the Council of Elders together. But I am moved with the strange behavior of the King. He's planning on getting another wife. He! After bad experience he recently had, he still wants to get another wife? Hey! You don't got to go to Nala. This has degenerated to madness. Hmm? Must you keep packing my into his palace mm. like this? Mm. That is why I came to you, my elders. To help me caution him. I've tried many times. But he's not listening. I don't know what else to do. Please help me. <sighs> my queen, you did well by coming to us. Yes. Uh, we've we've all tried. Cautioning him about this, but he still remained adamant. Mm -hmm. And what is the chief priest saying about it? Okay. Yeah. My queen, we consulted him two days ago. Yes. But he said we will all keep calm, be patient, and allow the gods handle this situation. For how long? For how long do we have to wait for the gods? Eh? Is it when the king is dead that we intervene? Uh, God forbid. He will not die. Amen. But he is dying gradually. Can't you all see his face? He's no longer the couple we all know. Please do something, my elders. Be going. Now, what can we do? The chief priest has spoken. Yes, he has. Yes. We cannot continue to rely on the chief priest saying. In fact, we should try another powerful native doctor to help us. Another native doctor? Yes. Yeah. Ha! This might sound very stupid and unreasonable to you all. We have to try several options to save the king, our king. He do not deserve to die now. Please. Dastly. I know you're discussing about me. Hmm? Just, just look at what joblessness has made you. Just look. Bia. Chuendo. Are you mad? You do wonder that you Are you mad? How dare you talk to me like that? Hey. Ne. Biko. Who are you? Oye Kibu. I can see you no longer have respect. Ever since you got this, your pregnancy from God knows where. Oh, I thought as much. So really, you are both discussing about me and my baby, eh? Ah, well, it's a pity because none of you have the chance to give the king an heir to his throne. That's why you're all angry. <coughs> oh my gosh! And what makes you think what you're carrying there is a boy? <laughs> well, I don't answer stupid and senseless questions. Do you understand? That's why I pray to God all the time to keep you all alive for me. So I can witness when I give the king an heir to his throne. Do you understand? <laughs> what a wishful thought. Anyway, I don't care what you have in your womb. Just give birth to this. So I can all breathe fresh air for you. Mm -hmm. As if you know she stinks of jealousy and hatred. Hey, Queen Sword, 
Who just talk? You? Abino. You're talking. What did you just say? You have the guts to talk. Eh? I said what did you just say? I said what did you just say? I said what did you just say? Mouthpiece of Nishi. Your Majesty. Who would ever believe that I, Igwe Akabogo, King of the Universe, Ezendeze, Oganigwe, is still worthy of a visit from you? I do away with the human grudges. I carry my duties. Good. Good, mouthpiece of the gods. So, Tell me, what do the gods want from me this time around? Your Majesty, I brought a message of warning from the gods. And you must be wary of the chameleon that flocks around you, Your Majesty. Chameleon? Yes. Well, you speak in parables, mouthpiece of the gods. Who could that be? Your Majesty. There is one who can be that flocks around you. There is one who can be that serves as your advisor. Ndulue. Uh, oh, yes. Ndulue is responsible for your predicament. Ndulue jigi nangada. Oji sigi ike, your majesty. Oji gi. Yes. What? How? Why him? Your majesty. The heart of man is evil. It's evil, Your Majesty. Mouthpiece of which it. Uh, Ntulua is like uh, a brother. I, I love him like a brother, you know, and I, I can vouch for him. Your Majesty, one thing you must know is this that a chameleon streak is worse than a deadly spell. Oh, yes! You must know that. That's a nice one. I buy a lot. 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 I Ndulue, why did you betray me? You have a that I would never do anything to hurt you. <laughs> well, I believed that before. I believed every lie you told me. Not until last night when I saw you in my dream, covering me in a pit. Me! Igwe Akabogo. Ezendeze. Oganigwe. You were covering me in a pit. In the dream. Me? Your Highness, that's just a dream. You, you can't believe that. You think so? Yes. Well, why did the gods mention your name? Specifically, the mouthpiece of Winshi mentioned your name. Oh, your Highness, you know, these people know how close I am to you. They're just, it's just a mere conspiracy. I believe this one. Why? Because I've heard it from so many people in so many quarters. Ndulue, I, I loved you like a brother. I know. I treated you as one. Who could ever imagine that you would do this to me? Can anyone believe that you will plot my downfall? And do it. Yes. I can explain. What can you explain better than what the gods have already said? Yes. The gods lie. That you know. You've never believed in them. I do believe them now. Well. Getting rid of you is, is a problem. I know. But Please don't do it. Killing you, I find it difficult, but you leave me. You leave me with no choice. Please, Your Highness. Kill him. No, no. Okay, Your Highness. Not until I tell people why behind this. Ah! 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 Why were you too fast in killing him? Ah! He was almost telling me he's called conspirators. Get rid of the body.
bury him immediately. Yes, Who is he that speaking? When you will have spoken, oh boy, yeah. He's the king of universe. I see my boy, yeah. He's the king. He's the king of kings. He's the king of universe. He's the king of kings. That's amazing. How did it go? Good. We just saw him off to his ancestors. Oh, very good. Good. Did he mention my name? No, 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 no. Mm. No one knows about it. That's very good. That's very good. That's very good. Mm. Wah, wah. Also, we did not meet. <laughs> My king, you're here. What can I do for you? I went to a hospital for pregnancy test and the result came out positive. Congratulations. My king, what is the problem? Not your business. You see, I think you should go back to your father's house and stay there until you deliver. If it's a male child, come back. If it's not, well, you stay back. What? You just talk to me like that. I'm glad you heard me clearly and correctly too. You should have told me you're no longer interested in me. You should have listened to my brother when he told me of your wicked acts. I just lost my best friend, so I don't need to be disturbed or burdened by anybody. Please. I said, get out! Your father is going to hear about this. I'm leaving your house. What would you mean for? What would you mean for? Huh? As in, there's a... Fusi Ganya. Mandi Nobi. Eh? <coughs> so, how was it? <laughs> Successfully done. Mm. Ndulu had diligently played his role mm. and has been gotten rid of mm. <laughs> to make sure that he did not implicate us. Mm. <laughs> Very wise of you, my future king. <laughs> Very wise of you. Uh, so, how about the others? Uh, as for the others, I have decided not to bother them yet with my intentions. Okay. I know as time progresses, mm. they will have no choice than to concur with me. Mm. The moment the Iroko falls. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> so, when do you want the Roku to fall? Come on, see the heavy heavy. Go on. Okaram, mad okaram. We have played them enough. Okay. Hmm? Okay. We have played him enough. Okay. And the, you and then Dulua made sure of that. Okay. People now mock at him as a king with many wives, mm. but no son. Oh. <laughs> so it is time. To set the course. So, how do you want it done? I want it slow. Mm. But painfully dead. Oh! Oh, my God! 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 I'm 
you seen the king? <laughs> hey! See me see trouble. What is my own with the king? Don't you ever ask me that kind of question next time. Do you understand? Wow. Piece of mission. Tell us what has happened to our king. Who is behind this? Yes. Nobody is behind this paralysis. Huh? I mean nobody. So how can we help him out of the situation? <laughs> the girls themselves will decide on when to set him free. The ghost has spoken, and that is final. Who do bear? Who do bear? You wanna lock on a man? No! No! We cannot allow our people to die like this. Yes, the queen is right. Mm -hmm. We must have to seek help from somewhere. Who do bear? Who do bear? But what do you have in mind? Um, let's seek help from our neighboring kingdom. Okay. Yeah. Also, it's there. You are right. We must have to save his life. I don't trust this our little doctor any longer. How do you see that? Let's let's just make move, cause time is of essence. Yes. Mm, have yes. Time. Oh! And they have consulted with priestess or large of What? Why would they do a thing like that? Without consulting me? Hey! Oh, who is behind this, by the way? It was in council, of course. Right now, as I am talking to you, they are in the king's palace. <laughs> Your king is cursed. Cursed? Yes. Hey, who? who knows what he's telling them about us? Hey, bam, 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 bam. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am a little bigger. I am 
mu bo bele sine me bike o ye sine aburi aburi o megini eh The chief priest once told us that he's under a spell and sacrifices were made. Hmm. Truth crushed to the earth shall surely rise again. He is under a curse from deeds of the past. So we do. Sorry, uh, you know I promised to give you the money yesterday. But uh, when I called my parents, they said they would give me the money, they would pay into my account next week. See, what you're saying is just nonsense to me. I need my money. Why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing... I will, I will embarrass you here. I will embarrass you here. Okay, um... Take this. What I gave you is money, not phone. So I need my money. I need my money back. That's why I said you should sell and take the change. Why don't you sell it yourself and give me back my money? Can't you understand what I'm saying? I'm giving it to you. Just sell. Take the change. No problem. You know, if, assuming I'm with the money, I would have given it to you. It's for you to know that I'm, I'm supposed to pay. Please, eh? Thank you. You know I don't like doing this. I don't like doing this. Anyway, I'm going to sell it and whatever I get out of it, whatever extra money I get out of it, I'm going to give you so you can get some, any small funds to start from the table. Tifa! Tifa! Hey, you stole my phone! Tif! Hey, hey, beat him! Beat him, you stole my phone! Yes! Where is he? I did see his phone! He gave me the phone! I did see it! I did see his phone! Yes! He stole my phone! Beat him very well! I did see phone! I did see phone! I did see his phone! I'm telling you, it's true! Fuck! Come on, stand up! Hold the phone! I did see his phone! He accused me! He accused me! He accused me! My son, why did you do it? Why? <laughs> I, I, I didn't do it. You know me. You know I can't I can do a thing like that. He, he came to me as a friend and complained of a, of a problem. <laughs> Say that his, his parents are yet to send him money. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> so and as a friend, I had to borrow him a thousand naira. Mama, yes, my son. could you believe that? For three good months, for three good months, he couldn't even give me anything out of it. And, and when I confronted him, he suggested I should, I should sell his phone, but I refused. I refused. It's okay. Take it easy. I refused, Mama. Okay, take it easy. He, he persuaded me. <laughs> and and then I quit, Mama. Please, my son. He gave it to me willingly. He gave it to me willingly. I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't steal his phone. I didn't steal his phone. I believe you, my son. 
But others say you're guilty of the offense. God, why me? God, why my son? So look at me. Look at me. Okay. Look at me. He tricked me. He tricked me. It's my friend, Mama. I don't think so, Mama. Don't say that. You'll be okay. I'm oh. feeling pain. Pain? Okay, let me get the door. Mama, 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 no, no. <laughs> understand what you are saying. You know my son did just see your phone. You accuse him wrongly. Eh? Why? Why do you have such a wicked heart? Why? Your son stole my phone. He stole my phone. But I don't... Uh... <laughs> my son is dead. Huh? Saludo is dead. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for killing my only son. Thank you very much. But... It's only God that sees the truth. And if truly my son did this, let God judge him. But if you accuse him wrongly, I promise you, you will know no joy. Madam, please, please, I don't like this. Don't make me feel guilty of, of this. I, I only called my neighbors to beat him small because he came to my house and stole my phone. His father died barely one year ago. Sorry for that. Just one year ago, I cursed you and your generation for making me a childless widow. I cursed you. Mama, sorry for that. Uh, I cannot stand there and watch you accuse me wrongly. Uh, sorry for your loss. I cursed you and your generation. You can run. You can run, but this curse will follow you from generation to generation. Run! <laughs> My son, I can't believe you are gone. <laughs> My hope. My future. The only thing that matters to me. <laughs> You have always been there when I lost your father. <laughs> I am not sure I can bear this. I am not sure I can bear this. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't bear this. <laughs> Now you know what I've been talking about. This is the fountain of his problems. Wise one, it appears he acted in oblivion as a youth and neglected the consequences of his actions. Please, how can you help him out of this? <laughs> the only way would have been for him to go back to the woman and apologize. But she is dead. Wise one, please help him. Offenja <laughs> patoi. Offenja patoi. The only alternative I see, it's going to be very difficult. For a widow's curse is too deep and ineffaceable. It will take the cleansing water of Obinga 
to lift this curse. Where is the water of Obinga? On Gobo. Wise one, we were meant to understand by history that the still water of Obinga is located at the threshold of Akuku. On Gobo, the king will have to cross the evil forest of Awene. But seeing he's on feet, his sons or his wives will have to go. The king has no son or his bone. Which means his wives will have to go. <laughs> On Gobo. They will have to get the cleansing water of Obinga and bathe him with it. That way, the curse will be lifted. Wise one. But what if they refuse to go? to the age of fear. They've not been so united as wives to the king. And Chichi. If they are interested in the king's health, let them make their choice. Oh! I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put this in Onyama. Onyama. No. <laughs> no. She has not told them anything about us. Or whatever. But she has given them the solution to the king's problem. Hey! Hey! Onyango, onyango. I called us here based on current situation. We've been mandated by the priestess of Ugovi to embark on a journey to fetch a constant water for Mobinga, which the king will bet with and be free from the curse. Are you not forgetting something? Please, let them know that Obinga River is not a stone throw from here. One has to travel through Ajofia Wene. To fetch the cleansing water. Ah ah ah, Daanla, menene. What is ajo ajo mene? Ah, me si pono nyansa. I need to understand what you are talking about, mana. Am I not his wife at all? Okay, I mean evil forest of Awene, which is very deadly, and only but a few have gone there and returned, based on what I heard from my father. La la illa la. Now we understand the risk ahead for people that want to save, that want to go and save the king. As for me, I'm going to save my husband, the king, and I will urge you all to do the same. Just hold on. Does he even want to sacrifice? I don't care. I'm going not just to save my husband, but the king. Chief Priest, we are very, very sorry to have done so. But it is in the interest of the whole kingdom. Can't you see that the, that the king is at the verge of dying? Don't I give you a message from the gods? Anyone goes from the gods? It's white. It's your turn. You also disrespected me. Yes. Ask them. Ask them. Why should you disrespect your chief priest? Why should you? Huh? Why should you do so? Utube. Utube. Adam. We are talking of your brother here. I'm so what? I remind you. I'm so what? Yes. I know he's my brother. And I equally know that the chief priest would not want him dead. He only speaks when the gods have instructed him to do so. Why would you go ahead of him? Or have you suddenly forgotten that a woman that moves ahead of her husband spots spirits on the way? 
um, at least we have succeeded in getting solution to the king's problem. You are playing with fire. We will jump out well good. You all are playing with fire. Okay. But only the gods. Only the gods can bear witness. That I advise the king. Any enemy I advise. He also disrespected me. Nani Ananyan. Now he felt sick. All the goya. Eh? All the goya. The ghost kept him quiet. They kept him quiet. Eh? He's under detention. I am your punishment. Will the ghost be so wicked as to allow our king to die? Didn't you see that he's already approaching to meet his ancestors? Oh. It is not your business. Eh? Huh? Your business should be what the God says. Because the gods are wise and their ways are mysterious. I deem you disappoint me. I wish the king was on his feet to hear what you are saying about him. You are very wicked. If the king is here, I will say it to his face. Eh? Yes. Because a stubborn fly follows the corpse to the grave. Yes. Watch your tongue. I say, watch your tongue, for I will not allow you to insult me. Enough, both of you. Enough! I can see that you all have lost your regard for me. Eh? Then you mustn't respect me anymore. But I want you all. I want you all to be ready. Because the ghost, the ghost will soon arise. And you all will face the consequences of your actions. Yeah. Who will go first here? Meet you. You are here from the gas. It's just your work. I come, Georgia. Be ready. Who should you bear? Let them go. Let them go. I am beginning to doubt the authenticity of this. Yes. Mom, is it true you're going to the forest? Yes. I'm going there to get the water that will heal your sick father. Are you going alone? I don't know yet, but I'm not like to go alone. Hello. My dear, where are you going to? Ah, I am going to my father's house. It's better safe for me there to stay in my father's house and stay alive than go to that forest. I am going to my father's house. So. But you might win his heart if you return from the forest. If that is what you say, do you know that I had made inquiries, I asked people, and they told me that nobody goes to that forest and come out alive. Even your chief, chief, Mene, chief, 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 I don't even know. Your chief something went there and he did not come out alive. So, I'm going to tell you this advice as a good woman that you are. If you like your life, that Allah go and carry your bag and go to your father's house. Because no man is worth dying for. No man. Look at your daughter now. Are you ready for your mother to die right now? No, God forbid. No. You are not ready. Are you ready to be a, 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 a motherless baby? No. Perhaps she is not ready. So my dear, I would advise you to just carry your bag and go to your house. No man is worth dying for her. No man. Well, I've heard you. It wasn't easy for me to make up my mind about this. So, I'm like, yeah, I, I wish you all the best. You have decided to go. May Allah go with you. Just be careful. Me, Zainab, send Tepikidam. I'm going to my father's house. So, send you my call.
am I to embark on this journey? to embark on a very serious mission, a very dangerous mission, and I will advise that you all stick together during this course. If you are interested to embark on this journey, come forward and pick a keg now. May the gods protect you all. You also have to be wary of Atani, the chameleon of the forest of Awene. She has her ways of luring people to destruction. Open your eyes and be guided by wisdom. The king's throne lies in your hands, and I pray that you will survive this. You all have heard from the priestess. And we elders, commend your bravery for embarking on this journey. We also pray to the gods to preserve your lives. You, you all will assemble at the outskirts of the kingdom with your kegs before sundown for the fortification ceremony. Go back to your children and give them the necessary hugs, because it just might be the last. of Uruoge. How dare you step into this land without my permission? Because you don't have the right 
to walk into this land without my notice. The lion that decides to play with pigs tends to be neglected and loses his position as king of the animals. You have failed in your duties as a chief priest. <laughs> but who told you? How did you know? It's obvious. You failed to tell your people the truth. You allowed greed to destroy the sanctity of your priesthood. I, the only chief priest of this kingdom, I am the only wish that has the right to decide who lives or dies. Eh? Therefore, you know where you come from. Go back to your kingdom. I cannot remember encroaching on your affairs. I was invited by the elders to stand for truth and justice. I should now go on to Monono, Ebubereishi, Oyesoroya. I told you there is serious trouble. I told you there is trouble. Nobody, nobody. Why are you panicking? What is wrong with you? See, you have me by your side. You have me by your side. Mm? I, are you listening? So, nobody, I mean, nobody has the right to take over the throne from you. You understand? Nobody! Yes. Hey, Chief Priest, let us finish, my brother, now. Let us finish him now. Um, not yet. Because the priestess is still around. So she will notice where the strike came from. Mm -hmm. We are going to wait. But I promise you that at the end of this journey, you are going to be the only person. You are going to be the one that will be smiling on the throne. I am with you. I am with you. Why do I Following you people now. I want to go my own route. She went. Have you forgotten the priestess? And the together? She only gave an advice. It's not as if it was coming from the gods. <laughs> Wakamaka, why are you begging her? If she wants to go and die, then allow the vultures, the pleasure devouring her flesh. It is your flesh to devour. <laughs> she went, please. I consider your actions. Yeah, I'm done seeking around riches. I don't feel secured anymore. Let me go my own route. Uh -uh. What is this one now? I beg, I beg, I beg, Let's I forget I about her. Ah. Let's, let's move on her later. Let's move on. Ah. 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 Let's go. Ah. Told me to drink water. Hmm. I beg. We are beginning to get tired of the do's and don'ts of this journey. Mm, we have to endure. Soon we'll get to the crescent river. Hmm. I feel so weak. Probably caused by dehydration. I pray we'll be seeing the river by tomorrow. Who knows what has become of your window right now? You worry yourself so much about things that have no consequence.
get ya. Let's go. Have you forgotten we have been on the run all night? I know. Oh yeah. All media deaths, one after the other. Why I joined? I will fetch from the fountain of Obinga to clean my unborn son, father. This charm will lead me straight to victory. Better we split. Huh? Why? We stand at risk of not making it alive. Eh? Isn't is dead? And nobody knows if Chiwendi is still alive. Huh? And even the beast catches up with the both of us. This journey is over. This mission is over. Which is why we must stay together. Eh? We need to split. We have to split. Please, if you make it to the river, save the king. If you make it to the river before me, please tell the king that I love him and take good care of my daughter. Miko, do I need to? I was sent by the Council of Elders to tell you that the king is well. He cannot come back home. No. Just stay away from me, you evil of the forest. I'm for real. You can come to the palace and confirm. My queen, come. Thank the ghost you are here. I was able to get to the Quincy River and fetch the water. But I'm very weak. 
I can barely move. I'm sorry. I've not gotten to the river since then. Hmm. Please help me up. I know of a shorter route we can follow. Okay. Let me take the water to the palace. And then I can get help for you. No. I would have been devoured by this white beast before you return. Please, indeed. Help me. I don't want to die now. So that you can take the water and answer the best wife. You are a threat to the king's love for me, Okamaka. And it is time for me to win back my husband's love for me. And why are you saying this? You know very well I can't stand between you and the king. Please help me. Please. I don't want to die. Well, I'm sorry. I wish you a smooth journey to our ancestors. No, 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 this is not you. I wish I had answers to his problems. As it seems, only the gods can determine his fate. As mortals, all we have to do is pray. O oh, gods of our land, please show forth thy clemency and heal our king. Please. Oh, goddess of the river, I'm here on behalf of King Akabog, who has been under a curse for years. He has suffered and lived in sorrows. I was sent here to fetch from this great river. I pray. Please, remove his curse as he bent with this water. May this mission not be in futility. Gods of my ancestors, please be with me.
Thank you. Princess, what's the situation like? Our king. We are welcome, our queen. Thanks big to the gods. Where is the calabash of water? Calabash. I was close to fetching the water before the guard you sent to me with the good news came. Good news? Good news. Where's, where's the king? I hope he's okay. My queen, are you alright? It is you that is not alright. Why not go inside and see things for yourself? not possible. No. What happened? That was the chameleon of the forest that warned you about, and not the guard. Oh! Oh! Mouth piece of Umwishi. I bring to you good news. Frita not your bread, my friend. Eh? Because the son of Ogudiabga has seen it all. I have go here. <laughs> oh, karam, madam, karam. Oh, man. I thank you so much. I was astounded when I got to the palace and saw the only surviving queen came back without her pot. <laughs> I told you. Eh? I told you. The elders think that they will go against my wish. Oh, if ever, Jello. Oh, if ever, Jello. Even the priestess. The priestess gave them false. A mifana of us. Eh? He gave them false hope. Wait, very soon it will wither like the dream of the night. Eh? It will wither like the dream of the night. Eh? <laughs> then we have no option than to put you in the place where you belong. I cannot wait for that day to come. We shall rule this kingdom together. Posterity has already been written in your favor, my king. Here go, Yana, your favor. I owe you a lot. I owe you everything. I don't even know how to repay you. What the go, Eh? What they go moon again? Eh? Don't worry. Hmm? Don't worry. Soonest. Obeloge, your brother will enter his journey. 
The journey of Ndemulangu, the land of the dead. Yeah. <laughs> Dike. Ay, Tuomia. Tuomia. <laughs> this calls for celebration. <laughs> we still have a, a, a good news coming to our way. Coming on our way, fan, be a good news. And that day of your coronation, who was young already? I just celebrate here. I am already a boss, yeah. Christian, what is the situation like? No! Jerry, my You have to make arrangements for his burial! Hey! I don't think it will last till sundown! Hey! Balo! Hey! Iguana! Thank you for wiping away our tears. Hey. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey. That's the water. That's the water. That's the water. You, this untrained monkey, you cost this. And you, I will so deal with you. My elders, please forgive me. Forgive me. I kill. I kill. Do you know who I'm? Hey! No, this cannot happen. It's impossible. My peace of the gods, do something immediately. Kill her and my brother at once. Be patient. Be patient. I'm trying. Be patient and watch me kill the lives. I will take the lives. Be patient. Mm. 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 When the penis rises, it behaves as if it wants to penetrate the wall. Mm. 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 No matter how big a termite might be, it can never cross an elephant. Mm. No matter how the night threatens, it must give way for the day. Queen Wukamata, I don't know how you managed to escape from the evil forest to save an already dead king. Mm. But one thing you ought to know is that the dead must be allowed to remain dead. Ah, therefore, I command you and the king to be crushed by the smoke. Ah, be crushed. Be crushed. Ah. You, you are dead. Hmm. Be not afraid. He is just nothing but onion wrong. Eh? I command you, go back to the land of the dead, where you belong. Ebisi. Missy. 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 Who is it 
Thank you. 